Hello, everybody. I believe I'm ready to get started. Welcome, Murphy. Welcome, Dango. So let's chat. So we're pretty much at the end of the game. I think I have like three bosses left to fight. One we one we have purposely avoided killing for a while. Two, I think, is just the tutorial boss, which if I bring in any of the decks that we built, I'm pretty sure will go down nearly instantly. And then finally, whatever super boss or whatever is at the end for beating everything else, yeah. So unless like a lot of quests pop up, this is probably going to be one of the last two sessions, if I had to guess. We're going to clear up the Traveler, which will clear one of the last area bosses left. And then I guess we'll see how hard the next portion of Tower is. I'm contemplating if I want to use the Traveler at all. <laughs> yeah, oh yes, the secret final boss. Yeah, I mean, like, we know there is something at the top of the tower. I just don't know if there's anything I really have to worry about at all, or if it's just going to be a wombo combo. Uh-oh, Blue Donna, but the bot does not respond. I guess the bot's dead. I don't know why that happens. That is so annoying, I'm not going to lie. I guess it disconnected. I don't feel like reconnecting it. Yeah, see, the problem with it is like, okay, let me let me go on a small tangent. The way they've changed OBS now, I have to log into a browser, but I don't get to choose which browser it is. So it's like, I don't want it switching what is on Firefox. I want to open it up in a browser I don't care about, but it won't let me do that. <laughs> And it's very, very irritating to deal with. So you're not going to get any sound effects. I'm, I'm sorry, Chad. It is really annoying to deal with. Originally, I used to be able to just change it within OBS itself and just refresh it if it Fs up, basically. But like now they make you like open a link, which opens another thing, which opens another thing. And it's like, I don't feel like authenticating twice to update it. I'm sorry, especially since I have to like copy the link out manually from one browser to another. It's so obnoxious. Blue Donna, huh? Something like that. So sorry, Chad. If it's not working, it's like... I don't know what to say. I don't get any notifications that it's not working. It just goes down arbitrarily. No, it just literally, like, if I click on it, it just... There's no... I, I, can, ins I can literally inspect it via HTML, and I absolutely don't want to do that. And as I said before, I have to... Well, because that's the thing, too. You have to realize why I find this very annoying. Sorry for the tangent. It is just like... It's not like I can just log in with that thing and be done, which is how it used to work before. I have to log in as one thing. Then in the middle of doing it, I have to log in as another thing. And then I have to log in back as the other thing that I originally logged in as because it technically logged me out again. It's very annoying. It's very, very annoying chat. I want you to know, it's it's not as straightforward as it is. It's really annoying musical chairs. I really hate it, and I will complain again in the forums because it's awful. As I said before, it because the thing is too, it's just like, I, like the only way to access it is like, because I'm logged in through Twitch essentially, if I have to use another Twitch account for authentication, I have to switch accounts. So it logs me out of everything. So it's like, I'm not gonna do that midstream. Do you know how bad an idea that is to log out of Twitch midstream? It's bad. <laughs> don't, don't do that. <laughs> but anyway, back to Dungeon Drafters. So yeah, chat, I'm sorry. I don't like maybe if we take like a long break, I <laughs> just spent like 20 minutes like answering my phone like three or four times or whatever authentication method I choose. Yeah, it's really bad. As before, it was just like, oh, if you're choosing another account, just log in as the account. Great. But now I have to do it while logged in as another account. And that's an error that they forced on themselves. That was not originally a thing. Oops, sorry. Apologies for the double music there. Yeah, it's it's very annoying. I want chat to understand that. <laughs> just like, if it's down, it's down. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to tell you if it's down, it's whatever. I'm not touching it for the rest of the stream. Maybe post stream. Or as I said before, if I'm taking an extended break, I'll think about it.
Hmm. I'm still really upset that they defaulted to being centered on the town map here. Chat, you have no idea. I don't even I don't even get why this is selected by default. You can't even do anything with it. Like, am I missing something? Like, I guess maybe I can inspect UI something? No. I don't know, chat. <laughs> 1.1.2, 1, 1 please do not automatically select an option in this menu. Please don't. It's the only one that doesn't do this. Because I think for the other ones, it's fine. Is it at least like I can scroll up and down? It's like, I, I don't even think you get any benefit from having this selected. Do you know what I mean? It's one thing if I could like touch things, but the controller doesn't do anything on this, to my knowledge. Like I could close it if I want to. So dumb. Anyway, back to this. So I guess we're going to set up for the other challenge. What I was going to do before I got detoured again is I'm going to cancel quest log. So we only have reached the bottom of Magma City while exploring all rooms and we'll equip. Okay. So the only the only condition is I have to check all rooms. Okay. Right, chat? Like that is a little bit of a problem with Traveler. We'll see how far we get with that. The coins, that makes sense. On the off chance this gives me the card I'm looking for in the arena. No, sadly we did not get it. Unfortunate. So I guess the question we have to ask ourselves... How do we be more card efficient for the challenge? Clear everything that we have here. I've not been following Dungeon Drafter too much. If I like Slay the Spire, should I try this game? Uh, it's a very different style game. It's more like um, I don't really know how to describe it. It's more like a turn. It's like a literal turn-based movement game. It's not like your enemy go, ally goes kind of things. Like there is a lot of terrain manipulation. And tile placement. It it is the it is a roguelike in the sense that you gather a lot of cards in your deck, and you don't have to really worry about what would be considered like chuff or like bad cards. But at the same time, there are a lot of things that you could do that Slay the Spire doesn't do. Yeah, it's more dun yeah dungeon crawler is a better explanation for that. Slay this fire was more like Magic the Gathering. I think that's semi-accurate. Just deciding if there's anything else here. Can I not... Can I not do that to see which runes I have? Um... Why can I not see what those runes do? I mean, like, I can find them here. I just thought that was kind of weird. I couldn't do that. Uh, Natural cards by one is fine. Is this number of dupes? When I take breaks between the game, I don't remember what the little symbols do. Okay, this number of duplicates. Uh, That's probably fine then, actually. I'll leave it as is. The only thing we have to make sure that we do... Traveler, this one doesn't matter. We need something for, like, recursion. <laughs> dungeon crawler where you get pot of greed yeah we have like a little curio which can be more useful than not depending on what kind of build we're doing i would say since the update it's probably more of a recommend on my side i would say pre-update it's you accept it but acknowledge there's jank now for the most part it's fine I mean, I could get Strider Gloves, but I want something with, like, that ends the room. That makes sense. I need to conserve cards. So either I need something that gives me card cycling or something else. AP on recast is okay. Sorry to turn game one AP if any unit is suffering wound. No.
don't think most of these I really care about. Hmm. <laughs> right, Chan, I'm not feeling any of the I don't want I actually don't want to draw cards, if that makes sense. I, we're going to be in a long grind. It's not like if all we have to do is reach the boss, Traveler is fine. But I have to think that we're going to be in a long one. Not sure what Pot of Greed does to. Oh, yeah, draws cards. Yeah, it's Pot, of, con, Pot of Greed and Pot of Greed. Sorry, I'm weighing my options. I don't think I really have a good one for this challenge. I don't think I have phantom cards. Mage's Fended is really fun on other ones. Because phantom cards are when I dupe cards. I don't think Traveler really dupes cards. That's the problem. Uh... Because I, if I could splash it, I don't think that'd be a problem. I mean, I could bring in... Uh, but if I bring in Stormbringer, that's kind of anti-synergistic. Hmm. I don't think I have a good one for this challenge, to be honest with you. There's nothing that really resets my graveyard. I don't care about healing. Map reveal doesn't matter. I mean, I could generically just draw cards, but... If I do that, I'd leave myself potentially in a very bad position. Hmm. Uh-oh. Speaking of jank. This is what I was talking about, Chan. I can't select anything in the menu. If you're curious, you can hear me rotating. It's a little kludgy. Now I can. I don't think I want too many draw cards. I definitely want adrenaline. I think I want basically nothing but AoE. I need things that are like two for ones or better. That one's okay. Golden Phoenix was so disappointing. Oh, I won five double shots. That ability is so good. Sharp Dash is good. Shine Spark is fine. Flight Flutter is good. Shock Jump is good. Flight Pounce is good. I went basically like two for ones. Head Hunt is a perfect one of. Power level rest and pot of graves near nearly officially before immediately getting banned. Kind of, yeah. I think I want a few bomb jumps. Is there anything? Okay, so now that I have like a majority. Oh, I need more bullseye. So I have like 10 card spaces left. What do I feel like filling up the last slots with? Ironically, don't want to have a lot of draw cards. Ninja Backpack is free pool if I really want it. Um, just thinking. <laughs> See, the thing is, they're so good at drawing cards. Uh, I want one healing card. We have a couple AP cards. I could get more. I definitely don't want to discard target library card. That would be terrible in this challenge. Seven damage alpha star. Great on bosses. I could just, I could put one in my deck for the boss. So you could put in like three stars. Most of these I don't super care about. I want at least one or two keen dashes. I guess I could get a couple cardinal shots. I basically just need AP gainer, so maybe I'll get a shuriken storm and one draw card. I mean, like, I'm essentially going to be drawing more than I ever need to. So for those that haven't seen it before, Strider Gloves is stupid. <laughs> It's like one of the best, it's one of the best curios in the game and I don't understand how this did not get nerfed. 
So essentially, if you do literally anything, you will probably just draw an extra card every turn. So I'm not as worried about draw cards. In any other format, I would be packing in like four or five draw cards. I'm like, one is probably enough, <laughs> to be honest with you. And that's more to set up for bosses than anything else. So I'm gonna make sure my hand is mostly damage. I thought about Shuriken for teleport in AP, but I'm like, but then that just draws my cards too quickly. So I don't think that matters. We have Quiet Flutter for AP. And I think I got the Super Saiyan one, whatever it is, times four. So I have nine energy boosters out of 80, and I'm drawing approximately eight cards every time I'm in combat. Which, as I said before, I, I'm not as worried about clearing an area, per se. I'm worried I'm going to burn out on the challenge. I'm just thinking about how hard this is going to be. I'm, I'm not even worried about the boss. I'm going to be honest with you, I'm worried about running out of cards. If... Oh, man. See, this was, this was a challenge. If I had done this earlier, this would have been fine. But the problem is that it will randomly not allow me to restock cards. If that happens on the second floor, I think it's GG. I'll be honest with you. I think I just reset the challenge. So I think we're a little bit at the mercy of the game on this one. So I have one emergency heal card. Pop those things. That's... That's really annoying. Hmm. I mean, okay. So for those that haven't seen it before, this is like the end-all be-all for Traveler, and that's why I put a heal card in here. This thing, uh, every time I hit this creature, I take damage. And that doesn't sound too bad, but when there's like seven of them in a room, it shuts down my entire game plan completely. So I could do this. I don't think that's good enough. If I gain flight, I can one-shot the other creature. I think I need to do that before we go any further, to be honest with you. So let's gain an AP. And then we're going to use our boss... Oh, we can't use our boss killer unless I move. All right, let's get more energy then. I'm going to move forward. I'm going to delete this thing before it becomes a problem. So we're going to take damage. Just fine. Could pounce him for most of his health. I kind of wish we didn't pounce there specifically. I think this might be better. So I could shoot him if I want to. I'm not lined up with anything in particular. Okay, let's do this. Got rid of a health bar. So I just need to do one damage. I don't think I can. I'm not lined up with the target properly. So you're just gonna teleport and then be immune. So I think I just end my turn. I think I get the gameplay now to learn all the keywords. Exactly. Oh wait, he didn't immortal himself? Oh. Well, he's kind of a fool. I mean, GG, get outplayed? Just gotta walk one more step closer. I'll draw another card. So we're taking advantage of a mechanic called precision. So if we do exactly the monster's health, more often than not, that means drawing cards. So if Chad is wondering why I did not bother with card draw, look how many cards we ended with at <laughs> the bottom of the screen. Trust me, I'm like, I'm not worried about card draw in this deck. In fact, I probably should even have put the other card draw effect in there at all. Yeah, there's a lot of keywords. Oh, immortal. That orange barrier is most unfortunate for us. Um, I don't think I've fought you before. Okay, so we can view what the enemy does. So we can see he's going to target the bottom left corner. We know based off of our distance to the enemy who goes first, so that's why I don't bother checking most of the time. He has a very annoying ability that basically makes him immortal. 
so I can't do anything with him. If I kill this thing, I get access to the other room, which I think I have to. Oh, I didn't even think about it from that standpoint. No, I think we fought one maybe literally once. The last time we were here, I don't even think we fought one at all. So I have to get the puzzle out of the way because that's part of the challenge. So I'm thinking about what I need to do here. So I can't hurt him to do this. I wish I actually had... Oh, I can recast? That's fine. Thank you, Pounce. You're the best. So because we killed him precisely, then this guy can precisely get wrecked in the face. Free damage. Alright, so do I have a one-touch move that I want to use is the question. If I end in literally the same space, I can just kill him with this. That's not a bad idea. So we're going to take the initiative. So if we hit their health bar when it's still full, it will do something. In this case, it recasts. So GG, get outplayed. So anyway, Traveler... Traveler doesn't really care what the enemy's abilities are. We don't have to learn what they are. Listen, sometimes you just end the room. <laughs> so unfortunately, he put lava behind him, which I'm not going to lie, is very bad for us. And you're going to what? Target me? Or are you just going to move in general? Um... No, that's not gonna work. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm just out of range. I could do this potentially if I want to. That is so awkward. So we got healing crystals, which is good. It makes the challenge a little more tolerable. More importantly, we got a card reset, which is huge for clearing this floor. You have no idea, chat. So we we need to clear the challenge rooms for those, or else we're in trouble. We got two card restores. Interesting. Do I want to return my money early? No, I don't really care. <laughs> right, chat? Our shards don't matter anymore. I'm at the end of the game. That is what we call an unfortunate spawn location. I don't even know what to do with that. He's not lined up with me, and there's a bomb in the corner. Hmm. What are you doing this turn? You're going to teleport and take the place of that thing? Interesting. If only there was more space for the bug as well. It's just kind of a really unfortunate scenario we find ourselves in. So I can't use my gunshot because of how awkward he is against me. I could bomb drop, but then that wouldn't really help me that much. Maybe it's better to just walk up in melee and save cards. Like, honestly, I really don't like this starting position. We might be able to zip past the intended target after this to escape. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. So we just need to get out of here, which I think we could do if we do this. I haven't decided yet if I want to hit the other creature with something. I probably should. I don't think there's any way I could hit that other creature without taking damage, actually. Hmm. I mean, I definitely want to do this just to get rid of him. That puts me out of range of the other one. I could go through here. I'm going to take damage, which might be okay. Yeah, that's probably okay. Um, we'll move like up one. See how far he can move. Not very far. So I'll move a little closer to get in a better position. So 
I believe he's just dead here, right? No, he's got... Never mind, he's got more health than I thought. So he's gonna morph, so he's not immortal yet. Hmm... If I walk up and shoot him, I only do one health bar's worth of damage. Could just use Bullseye on him. Yeah, I don't think anything else is really worth doing. So he's just kind of doomed. So I can just do four damage to him immediately. I think I want to do that. Multi hit. So we still have 62 cards in the library. That's probably fine. I'm just shaking my head at these room combos. And again, I would just like to say, chat, <laughs> I draw cards every single time with this. I guess I should probably axe spin him. I mean, I don't see where else I would have like a really good use for this otherwise. So we'll take that nice 4 damage. If I had one AP booster, I think he would have died. Do I waste a double shot, or do I just bomb him? I think I just bomb him. That would have been so nice to hit the other mage with this, but I don't think I could do that. Okay, so before I make that decision, where do you reach? You only move two spaces. Okay, so I can now visualize where you're gonna go. Thank you, Bomb Jump. So then, if I'm in the corner, he's just kind of hosed. And look at that, I can already draw another card thanks to the Curio. So dumb. You ready for the double card draw, champ? What a pro. Here it comes. I got Shine Spark if I need to get out of there. Kill him instantly with Pass Down. He's not targeting me yet, so it doesn't really matter. Hmm. I could rain down just to kill him. I don't want to use a Shine Spark yet. Let's use one of these. Yeah, I feel like they overall... I think they were trying to nerf Traveler, but I feel like, honestly, with Cardinal Shot being changed, it kind of filled one of their gaps of doing exactly 4 damage. And it just made Traveler stronger. And they technically nerfed, like, Quick Jump, but I'm like, I don't even think I used that when we first started. I thought it was terrible. The fact that they nerfed it again, I thought was kind of funny. I guess for, like, Raider, if they put one rank in Traveler, having a 7x7 seven seven area to jump is quite insane. I don't want to do this, but I think I'm going to be forced to. Got extra AP, which I'm going to hold on to for now, so he doesn't do anything yet. So I could pounce him. I think that's a good call. And we could kill the other guy with pounce. Then I could just melee twice and it's over. And that's why we hold on to pounce. We don't get a two for one for it, it's not worth it. So there's the exit, but we have to clear all rooms. Is it worth resetting our cards yet? I don't think so. Actually, I could just do it now, it doesn't really matter. I have another one if I really need to reset later. Extra card draw is sick. Sadly not in range to do anything fun there. Hmm. I think I'll use the energy up here. So I could get him into a better position, maybe. Oh, 
It does do a lot of damage. Will it benefit me at all to use King Zip? I don't think it does. So I could shoot him into this. So I could do two damage to the other thing, or... I need to do three to the clown and I could kill it. That's mostly what I'm thinking about right now. What is the best way to do that? I don't have any flight moves. I could just gunshot, gunshot, gunshot like a madman. Actually, that should work. Oh, gunshot, you're so silly. So I could just do this. That'll give me a precision. So I get another good chance of drawing something fun. And now I could just gunshot him again and draw another card if I want to. So I'm only gonna do one. Double card draw. Pop the box, because we killed the box, we draw cards potentially. Uh, let's not reset. I did lose my gunshot, which is really fun. I believe I have to clear this room. We'll get rid of the boxes, because they're more annoying than not. I had a slightly different set of abilities. It's unfortunate. Because you're going to hit me no matter what, because I'm in, like, the worst possible angle to deal with this. This is actually kind of insanely terrible. Think about it this way, Chad. If I was Raider, I would be so mad right now. I would be fuming. <laughs> I guess I have to zip into a shock. Because these are kind of dead cards. So I want to get rid of them. I could shock jump if I need to later. Does yours do damage in a straight line or is it the- oh, it's this guy's that has it. So he's either gonna do cardinal directions or he's gonna throw the bomb, so it should be fine. Can kill this guy instantly, that's probably worth doing. Let's not deal with him. I drew all my gunshots. That's kind of funny, actually. I'm like, not quite lined up with him. If I do that, that's not useful. I, I could just do, like, one damage to him. Let's get a little closer. Draw another card next turn. Do I shock jump now or hold it for the next fight? Hmm. That's all I'm contemplating right now. I wish I had flight, because then I could just delete him. So I'll just move one more. So we're forced to draw a card here. Oh. So this perfectly deals with the situation. Thank you, Beta Star. See, there we go. It has use outside of bosses. Take that stationary enemy. Oh, look how many cards. Look how many cards are in my starting hand. The card draw was with me all along, chat. Disgusting. <sighs> Immunity, you're so lucky. You're so lucky. If you're anything else, this room would have been GG one turn. Oh, I even drew an energy card, too. Extra disgusting. Um... The question is... How do we abuse them the best? I guess I zip in and just bide my time, because both of them are going to target that area, which I'm not there. I guess I'll keen zip. Or sharp dash, excuse me, wrong one. Just to ensure I'm not in the range of these, right? Good. Kill you. I have an extra AP, that's kinda of funny. Um Sure, let's get let's go over here. And we get to draw a card, because I moved a tile. Oh Curio. I don't know how they thought this was fair. I mean look at this. No way, I actually get to hit all of them with it? That's funny. So if I drew two of these, they just die. 
<laughs> look at me, look at me on the card draw now, pretty much. I mean, I think I just go for this, right? Just to end it faster? Just melee you? Oh, hold on, recharge it by Curio. That should have been like four or five to recharge. I'm being real with you. Like, cause keep in mind, every time you move a space, it adds to the charge and zips count and teleports and jumps, which is like all everything Traveler does every turn. It is way too easy to get three. Wow, we did all this just to get to this kind of puzzle room. It's a bit disappointing. I think it might be worth leaving the crates there. We're gonna draw another card, even though I'm a max hand size, essentially. So you're not gonna move. So I could hit you with the star ability if I need to, just to get rid of it. I probably wanna shoot you and then maybe destroy one of these, because it's funny. Double shot is so good, chat. Oh, we drew our uh, shuriken card. I honestly was contemplating if I even put it in the deck with how few times we've received it. I think I just go for the kill here. To just soften him up a little bit. Look at that chat. Oh no, I'm drawing another card. Totally fair. Look at look at this. What a character. You're gonna push me, huh? I'm gonna hold on to Alpha Star. Let's do something like this. Look at that, I draw another card. These guys are so easy to build cards off of. Holy. Do I just let him teleport away on purpose so I hold more cards? I think I do, right? Right, we just kind of like, like, there you go. You showed me. I mean, is there a reason to not do this? Now I just have another card for next time. Oh man, okay, let's let's let us let us let us not draw our whole deck there. I mean I could. I demonstrated the loop to chat. That enemy cannot do anything against Traveler. It's so sad. Let me make sure I got the chest. Okay, I did. So yeah, it's like how many cards in hand? Yes. Oh dear indeed. Look at it, chat. Is this the protect mission? I don't remember. No, I didn't want to do that. I was trying to do this. I think it is a Brit. Okay, so it can survive two hits. I have energy up here, which is good. You're not going to move, right? So I think I can one-shot you. So we basically just have to... kill the other goblins in the room. So this is where, like, Alpha Star is very powerful. Because he only has seven health. So he's he's going to draw me seven cards. So keep that in mind, chat. <laughs> I'm drawing seven at the end of this turn. So at this point, it's party time, right? What could they do about this? I guess I just teleport somewhere. I mostly just need to make sure it ends in one turn. Uh, is there a way I can... Oh, there's not... This is such an awkward room. So, like, I could body block to prevent one damage to the turret thing. I don't want to accidentally hit the other goblin. Is there a way I can hit both goblins from somewhere? Is there some magical movement that will let me do this? I don't think there is. Alright, uh, because they're two spaces away. I'm very sad I moved forward a space. That's probably the, my big misgiving with this game. It is way too easy on controller to accidentally move when you don't want to move. I don't have... 
I have movement options, but they don't go through solid objects is the problem. Like, the, most, the best I have is Shock John, but it doesn't put me in a position that really helps me very much. Unless that pattern helps me. No. No, it does not. Uh... I actually wish I had one more energy card. That's kind of unfortunate. We did draw a lot of cards. I also, unfortunately, don't have my gunshot ability, and I know I can't draw into it. I could Shark and Storm. If I jump into a good position. If I move three spaces over... Does that lead to GG for both of them? I think it does. So I have to shock jump. One, two, three. This works. I think. But then I don't... Oh, but then I hit the ally. Hmm. Didn't think about that through. It's so annoying that I have to choose. I don't really care what he does. He's already dead. It's these two that are a problem. I don't know if they'll attack this thing willingly. I don't think they do. Oh, see, this is the problem in not playing this dungeon enough times. Like, I don't know if this is a mistake to do, for example. Like, he's dead. I'm not worried about that. Oh, he actually... I made him blo body block for me, so now it doesn't matter. Oh, that's cute. How many cards am I drawing? Yes. Well, you know what? If he wants to place the fish bait there, I'm not going to complain. He technically could have put it on either side of me, but I guess he put it on the closest side. I have a million AP moves, which I, ha I wish I had earlier. Um, I could just move over, bomb jump win. Goodbye. I mean, when the AI wants you to win, chat, how- <laughs> I can say no to that. I do love that our hand has this many cards in it, though. It's just so silly. I'm assuming that's card draw? That is- This is also what we like to call unfortunate. I- f I physically can't see the tile, but I'm assuming because the statue is a book, it restores our cards. Was this a plot thing? Your disembodied and cold voice speak to you. O oh, hero of legend, hear our tales. Knowing both lies and truth is the only way forward. The origin of the raider, as told in the tales, was a violent one, as the very earth split apart and ejected the eastern wolf with the pyroclastic of molten rock and solemn ashes. Scholars hypothesize that if the tales are true, one among the many volcanoes of the east would have been the first eruption, which would have had, excuse me, which would have had the first eruption, one that gave birth to the raider. The many civilizations of the Far East. There are tales of the mighty and insular Yamato, one of the few civilizations to resist the Numerians. Historical documents tell of Yamato's capital being built in the caldera of the gigantic supervolcano, called the Volcano of Volcanoes in their language. Many scholars search for that place, but to no avail. The fabled Volcano of Volcanoes is always seemingly on the horizon, no matter how far one travels eastward. The elusiveness, elusiveness of the place, theory of how the Yamato survived the Numerians changed from the historical to the realm of myth. Well, I guess it is true. If you pick Raider, you do burn. <laughs> you, you do crash and burn. That seems accurate. I do love that our hand size is currently yes. It's always a good feeling. So we're off to a super strong start. I should be able to just kind of wombo. Combo my way through things. We didn't even draw our heal card, our one of fun of in the deck. Which I, I don't want to draw most of the time. But yeah, that was that was a convincing floor clear. Poor Kirk. He does like the raider. The raider, however, is not It's weird that they have the raider in this area. I feel like the raider is so bad in this area. Like they have nothing but long range projectile lists and annoying summoners, and anti-melee stuff. Meanwhile, this is like Oracle Heaven, where you just don't care. You're like, okay, you're not going to move, GG. I mean, I guess it, it, it annoys you in the sense you can't charm them, but that's about it. 
think we covered all the... F I'm just double-checking out of paranoia. Pop those in some here. Yeah, there's no other path we could have taken. So onwards we go. And because of the curio, I can keep drawing more cards than what I have currently. So even if I use five cards, I'm still likely to draw two. Despite being overcapped on the natural hand size. I'm gonna do this so it stops asking me about my progress. Not that I feel like I'm gonna die. We have one heal crystal there, which is actually pretty huge. Because if we fight like two or three reflectors at once, it is really bad for us. Oh, is that it? Oh, okay. That, that's that's a bit better. I was going to say, I would have felt bad for them normally. Hold on, chat. Gotta draw another card. Um... Is there any way I could just insta-delete them is the question. I think I just, since I don't have a good A, I surprisingly did not draw many AoEs. I guess I'm just gonna use Stealth Ace to delete this enemy. Because I should, this enemy is very annoying when left alone. I do have a teleport, but I don't have a good follow-up. Yeah, I'm not in a good position to abuse that. I could zip kill him and put myself in a better position. Maybe this is fine. So I just need to deal three damage. I wish I could check the range of my other cards. I guess I could back up and just bullseye him if I'm really not sure if this will kill. I think this will kill. It won't. Those things when you just want to check it. So I don't really want to get rid of Barrage. It could just kill the room instantly. That's probably fine. Let's kill... Let's kill the room instantly. I could even recast. Disgusting. So we're still going to draw an extra card here. So I have a pretty good hand overall still. Ooh, it's a puzzle, but then the, they're all the way down there as part of the puzzle. That's kind of gross. I need some AoE options. Please draw into them. I have 63 cards, and like 15 of my mobility cards are in hand. Okay, Pounce is fine. I hate that they're immortal here. That actually stops me from going on a killing spree. I could take damage on purpose here. I think I definitely want to kill this guy. I'm contemplating if I want to dash. I don't have a keen dash. I have a shine spark, which is not quite the same thing. I guess I'll take the bounce. <laughs> I don't want to hit the other thing. What an awkward hand, chat. I can't believe I didn't draw more AoE. So if I do one damage... What does that buy me? Just a faster kill? Does that matter? I don't think it does. Let's just deal with you now. So they're gonna hit the other thing, so I have one more turn. Which again, I don't know how Raider would complete this challenge. <laughs> it's like, what would Raider do? Cry. <laughs> right, chat? Like, honest statement, I don't think they could do anything. Good bomb jump. And then I need to hit twice. I want to save my Quiet Flutter for now. Let's use an Adrenaline here. Yeah, I, I didn't draw many of my dashes or Shock Jump. Shock Jump would have been huge here.
If I do this, I think I'm in kill range. So now I have four. And I have to do exactly four hits. And I even managed to save adrenaline, which is huge. So if we're in another really awful position like that, I'm not that worried. I think that one's a heal. <sighs> Annoying, but not the worst that it could be. Come on, AoEs. There's a sharp dash. That would have been useful earlier. Um... I could just use the delete on him. This is an enemy that I do want to have die instantly, to be fair. Like, if, if there is an enemy that I will aerial ace, it will be this one. So we still have adrenaline. I can one-shot that guy if I need to. I want to save my dash if I'm able to. Feels so bad to just wait a turn. Here's one of my few AoEs, but this thing has to die. Let's just kill this. I think no matter. So I'm gonna waste an action here. I'm going to try not to use any cards to kill these. So I do want to be more cautious, as I said before. One, two, three. Those enemies you could at least outplay. One, two. I would like to move so I draw another card, though. So that way I have one more card in the next area, which I think is the right play. I avoid using cards. And then my hand size goes up here. Yeah, now I got an anti-boss thing, which is perfect. Charge up my meter. Mystery room. I'm like, just not able to... So if he moves towards me, I can headshot kill him. Could axe spin to get a kill. This gives me two AP. This is probably the best room to use it in. I might as well just use this here. Because how often are you going to get 2 AP from that? That's like a situational meter gain. So he's slightly injured. I do need to move. Axe will get rid of him. kill. So I could zip through and do some damage. Hmm. Not liking my choices here. If I dash through him, what, what does this benefit me, if anything? It does put me in a safe spot. Maybe that's worth doing? Alright, we're gonna have to draw some serious cards after this. That's two damage. I don't want to split the slime yet. So if I zip closer, I'm going to be one energy shy, unless he's at the corner. Which I don't think I could stand to do any damage with. I could, in theory, axe spin again. So if I want to double zip him here, this would save me some meter.
then I'm in a bad position unless I sip again. Is it worth doing? If only I could just do one more damage to the slime, that would have been good enough. Like, I could do that. But then, like, the whole point of doing that is moot. Ugh. Really don't want to burn an adrenaline here, but I think I might need to if I want to kill them fast enough. Yeah, I'm not seeing a way I could kill them. Even if I zip, zip through and zip away. Actually, I think this does exactly three. Because I would do one. Two. No, it would only do two. That's not helpful either. Hmm. Unfortunate amounts of damage. It's weird not being able to one-shot them here. I wish Bullseye did uh, one, one damage plus one per tile. It would have been a, a lot stronger. Because now it's like just barely not able to kill. Um... Do I burn my only energy card? I think I don't want to. So right now he can't do anything. That guy can reach me. That guy can reach me. If I go in the corner, I'm in big trouble because I only have one exit from the corner. Uh, I don't like that at all. I could, I could still go for it if I want to, I guess. Get rid of you. Then I can end up over here, and I can zip away if I need to. Hmm. I definitely want to get rid of the hook. This thing is just kind of a dead spot in our inventory. So I could go... Over here, get the item. Go back here, clear a passageway. I could go left side, or I could go right side. I guess I could go right side. Oh, I forgot that slime was there, to be honest with you. Oh, and they melt the ice? That's a cool touch. So right now this thing, he doesn't really do anything. Oh, unless he's gonna chuck the chest at me, then he might do something. They're not gonna move. I think I'm out of there. I got retaliate, which is fine. I'm not worried about them right now. Other guy's mad. Is he gonna need stuff? Oh, he's summoning stuff. And he stuns everything near him if he needs it. So I could bump jump over to him. I think it's better for me to just use a zip and kill him. Okay, let's focus on drawing cards here without using more cards. So we get like one big turn to kind of hurt them. Let's draw another card. I'd rather have the options for next turn. So we need to stand exactly two away from the other one, and then we can punish. But more importantly, we're getting card draw. So if we go like one, two, three, I draw another card. There we go. So we could kill these without using anything special. Totally fair. So let's draw our hand back up. We we need to, we need to have safety in numbers here, chat. Let's not mess around with this. I don't care if I take it slow. We're going for the challenge. If we were just doing regular room clear, I wouldn't care. But I think having potentially, you know, nine cards, that's about as strong as an advantage as I could realistically expect in a room. So yeah, we got an adrenaline up, we got mobility back. 
some minor AP increasers. Ideally here, we'll get a card restore. Uh, so we don't need to restore our cards yet. So let's hold on to that. This hand can deal with basically anything. I have a lot of mobility, a couple anti-boss things, a zip, two AP gainers. So this feels pretty good. Oh, you just... You're gonna... You're gonna grant them retaliate? Oh, that's kind of rude, actually. It's like the one thing I don't really want to see. Wow, that is such a bad starting position. Chad, I'm actually impressed how bad of a starting position this is. Can we all agree? Raider would have to take the damage here. Unless you drew your, like, one of, like, four mobility cards. Thankfully, we're not Raiders, so we can get out of this. That is impressively terrible. I think I just bomb jumped to him. I don't really want to burn more cards. So I think I just need to stand out of range of him so he doesn't do his other move. Or I'm going to be very sad. So if I don't want to use cards, I just stall. Which honestly, if he's just going to stall, I'm going to stall. Two can play at the stalling game. I win via stalls, right chat? Like, okay. Let me draw more cards for the next room. You showed me. Truly, I have been bested. Right, chat? We're not in a rush. Go ahead. Do whatever you want. What a card. Bonk. <laughs> it's like, chat, what is our hand size? Yes. So I just have to kill him with basically anything? Um... Honestly, I feel like disrespecting him and drawing a card. Let's draw another card. Uh, the answer to that is like 25. We've had that happen before, Kirk. I'm not sure if you saw that. It got really weird with Oracle. <laughs> it was like, the Oracle draws were disgusting. Look at that. You know what's gross about this chant? I'm drawing another card. Yeah, we're, we're good. <laughs> I drew the same card. <laughs> oh, come on. This isn't fair. Yeah, like, cause we, I'll put it this way. We had so many mimicries at one point, Kirk. We had as many as you see here times two just in the duplicate cards, let alone our other hand. <laughs> it got really, really out of control. <laughs> Oracle is very silly. All right, well, I somehow did not draw Alpha Star, which I find more impressive. This is a hilariously terrible room. Can we talk about this? Holy, this room is trash. There is so much AoE that's going to hit me next turn if I don't do something. And how are they all in a position that I don't multi-hit? That is actually impressive how bad this room is for us. Like, truly, truly phenomenally terrible. Um, I could shoot you and then do one damage to the other guy. If I land in the lava, I could get a... interesting ability off, but it's not worth it. I don't have Alpha Star, which is unfortunate. We do have Headhunter. So we can use that potentially to kill the other thing if we need to. Now, we need to make sure we kill this guy this turn, or else I'm going to be locked out of movement abilities, which is super, super bad. So I think this is an example of a room where I have to play Adrenaline. I don't see a way I can clear this room successfully otherwise. I mean, I could land in the lava here and take a lot of damage. It's very greedy. I 
I wish I could get rid of the skulls that are there. Can I get rid of the skulls? No. I mean, I do an insane amount of damage with this. I'm surprised this doesn't multicast. Oh, because he's still alive, it doesn't multicast. Oh, that's so sad. Hmm. But think of it this way, chat. That slime is gonna split. So I'm, I'm pretty sure I need to do this preemptively. I didn't get anything that grants flight other than Aerial Ace. So if we draw into a Flutter, it's also kind of over. I think I want to do this just to draw a card. It, Him being at full health doesn't impact me at all. So we're going to chip him out. We're going to get another target to potentially hit. Not the best. Yeah, that, that did not go into position that really helps us. Hmm. This is such an awkward room. Oh, I can finally multicast, though, so that's fun. So it opened that up, at least. How can I not multicast again on multiple targets? That's so sad. So I could kill that guy if I want to. I probably do. I wish she was more lined up with other targets. I don't think that's worth it. Could do this. Sorry to hear you, stranger's shoulder. We're contemplating life at the moment. This is such a weird room. If I bomb jump, that doesn't help me. Could act spin again and get rid of them. That might actually be worth it. But then what do I do with the rest of the room? Is the problem. Hmm. I did not want to move. I'm very upset that that just happened. I'm actually very upset that that just happened. That actually messed me up. I mean, I can recover from this, but that's one of the things I don't like about the game. If you're playing on controller, it is very way too easy to be moving between like selecting the units and then accidentally moving i don't like that i think we're still fine i need to get out of here though because you're going to spawn something so i got a turn you're gonna aoe i need to damage you somehow do i waste an axe spin on this though i don't think i want to I mean, maybe this is the time for the Keen Dash to work? Let's try this. So I could go up here. I think it's better just to get rid of these. I wish I was in an angle to do an attack again here, but whatever. is in the way. Could damage him, but that won't help me in the long term. Ideally, I'm just gonna use this thing to hurt the enemy, whatever he spawns. Let's let's hold our turn. We're gonna draw another card. That's not ideal. No, I didn't want to move again. Ugh, I hate it when that happens. Man, I did it twice. It, as I said before, it is very, very annoyingly too easy to do on controller. Um, see, now I'm not lined up with anything, and I can't escape. That really sucks. Because I would have just uh, wombo comboed him there. But I don't have an energy booster. I think I need to dodge this turn, then. Because that happened. That's not at all the direction I wanted to move in. I don't know what to do from here. Maybe I bomb jump? And just take the damage? No, I can't do that, because I'm going to be vulnerable. Man, I hate that that happened twice. I don't know how to recover from this. I need to move, but I've lost... Unless I'm really going to use Aerial Ace to dodge, which seems like a very bad idea. Uh, I hate that that moved me. Because above me is Root. 
Billful Bomb, I think, does one. Yeah, that really screwed my movement. Because I could have even boomeranged and that would have killed. I'm pretty sure with any other damage. Um, and I can't bomb jump without taking damage and then also spawning something horrible to fight me. And I can't bomb jump in any meaningful direction because I moved up a tile. I mean, I might be able to save it with Shuriken Storm here, but I'm going to take damage for it. It's not ideal. Actually, no, that doesn't help me. I shouldn't have done that. Ugh. Annoying. Alright, so wasted a card. I don't think there's anything I could do that would help me here. I just have to take damage. I guess I can move over here to minimize the amount of spaces I have to move. Because at least I could get a kill here. So I'm going to take an extra damage because I did that earlier. Unless I really want to burn another card on this thing, which I really don't. It's so unfortunate. I might as well just melee. We can heal later. Health is a resource. So I want to melee you before you're a problem. You are not a problem. I don't really care about you. The other enemy is the problem. I could just choose to take damage here. I think we will. So now we could use... Do I have like a very basic projectile I could use? I guess I could bullseye. Unfortunate. And that card is on the lava. Okay, at least that went away afterwards. Do we have a heal? So I might use a basic heal here. Yeah, that should be good. Seven's probably fine. Alright, so we still have a ton of cards. I don't have any mobility ups. I'm actually gonna avoid... Well, it's just a challenge room. Okay. So we found the exit. Getting another heal, which is good. I don't think I want to trade cards with you. I'm gonna avoid you. So we could kill this guy instantly. Not have to worry about him, but then we just need to deal with the other enemies. Is it worth just boomeranging instead? I think it kind of is. Just double boomerang, wipe out the room. Man, boomerang is so good, chat. I could pounce, pounce, pounce. I think this is fine. <laughs> so you can see, we're just gonna go on a slime killing spree real quick, don't mind me. So those enemies are just gone. I don't have to worry about them at all. And we injured a lot of them. So he just walked towards me, which is not good for him. So just kill him now. That was worth it. 
So we still have a ton of cards in library, so I'm gonna go another place. We can restart our cards at least once. <sighs> retaliate. Stupid retaliate. These enemies are not difficult. It's more the thing making them immune that is our problem. I could try to hold off on attacking at all and just choose to go in the corner more. If I really need to, I can aerial ace out of here. I think that's what I'm going to do. Draw another card, see what we get. I had a feeling he was going to target the same one. So I kind of planned for them to do that, because now I could just bomb jump. And now we can avoid doing anything else if we don't need to. So we could basically just use this thing to block for us, which is what I'm going to do. And we're going to draw more cards. Which is fine. We're doing a challenge run, so we, we need to be able to draw the cards. So now I can melee once and then retreat out of range. That's not what I wanted it to do. Game, please. I hit up and then I hit right. And it only took the right, sadly. Because I was prepping my moves in advance. It's fine. We'll, we'll go in a big circle. So I can melee once and still be fine. Please don't eat my inputs when I press them. There we go. Now we should be fine. I don't really care what this guy does. So he's got two health bars times two, huh? Hmm. Do I feel like using anything on him? <laughs> I could alpha star him. I probably need to do some damage of some kind. I mean, I guess I could troll him by just doing something like this. Oh, he chose to recover. That's funny. All right, so he is anti-camping strats. Got it. Uh, we'll do this then. Here we go, chat. We're we're increasing our deck, our hand size a little bit. It's like how many cards are you drawing? Yes. Oh, there's our draw card. I might as well burn that, right? <laughs> right, chat. Just speed up this process slightly. Yeah, that's fair. A very normal amount of cards for Traveler to have. Very normal. We call this Traveler Privilege. <laughs> Can you imagine, Chad, if I walked into the boss room with this hand? You'd be like, what are you doing? You're a monster. Do I really not have anything that can deal with this? Oh, I can bomb jump. That's fine. I was like, I just needed to go a little bit. Zip would also work. I prefer to use the zip. Bomb jump is very useful. Anyway, dead. I don't quite need to reset my cards yet. We gotta we gotta play some of our cards first. So we could go like two or three rooms before I have to reset it. So you're the summoner who I don't care about. You're the spawner who I do care about. Um I'm out of range to really do anything fun. I guess I could use an energy, or I could use flight here to gain extra AP. So I can move over a space. Um, could aerial ace if I move downwards. Yeah, let's aerial ace. Hopefully he stays lined up with the creature here. He did. That's good. So I think this is just GG then. Even if the other thing tries to heal, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, this doesn't really matter. I think it's over.
Health Nexus doesn't really matter. I just need a projectile of some sort. We have a very weak projectile that I could use. I guess Barrage is the weakest one we have. Kill these out of spite. I mean, there's still no point of resetting our hand size yet. Ooh, this is kind of a small room for this. <laughs> what? How am I not in a position to multi-hit here? That is so sad. In please. So if I lose 2 HP... Oh man, that's... Boomerang, please. Maybe that's the right... I think Boomerang is the right call. Man. I love you, Boomerang. You're something else. And I can just Boomerang again. Draw more cards. Boomerang OP, chat. So good. Look how many cards I have. Oh, Boomerang's so good. Alright, now we just need to get out of the way. I'm gonna use Shine Spark for that. Or actually, how greedy can I get? No, I have to I have to actually move. <laughs> if you only put it by one tile, I was gonna move one tile. I think I just wanna use a sh Shine Spark. Yeah, let's use that. Now we just have to get a melee range and it's over. I might as well use Cardinal Shot next turn if he doesn't teleport anywhere interesting. I mean, my goal was to burn cards, but at the same time... Oh, look at that, I could use Respite here. So I could dodge him and then heal. That's hilarious. Oh, no, he's... He made it a bit more annoying than that. Well, anyway, Chad, I think I'm ready for the boss. I think we can all agree, if this somehow does not defeat a boss, I'm gonna call absolute shenanigans. So we just have to clear all the rooms at this point. That's the only clear condition. So I'm gonna go ahead and dodge him here, and he's dead next turn without using cards. And because I'm not using cards, I'm showcasing how unfair and the true power and how unfair this curio is. So I have now the ability to do 10 damage to the boss, plus seven, because I never use Alpha Star. So I could already do 17 damage straight up to the boss. I mean, I have 12 cards in the library. I don't think I restock my cards yet. I think I'll just keep going. <laughs> so unfair. I could delete them if I want to. The multi-hit here is kind of sick. I think I gotta do it for the sake of just using the multi-hit. Even if I take damage here, that's fine. So powerful. What do you even do if you're left alone? Oh, you just do whatever. Um. Could use my heal card. Let's get rid of her heal card. I don't think I need this. We should be out of range of it doing anything. And I just kill it next turn. So if I do need to take retaliate damage, it's better that I do it now. Yeah, even him healing there doesn't really matter at all. So I'm gonna take two, which is how much I healed anyway. So I just do one and then it's over? Okay. There's our card restore. Ridiculous. 
Hopefully it doesn't count the treasure room. I just want I just want to double check. There isn't some like goofy thing, right? Just reach bottom. Okay, just reach bottom floor. That's fine. So I think we cleared it then. So I could get healed. I'm just gonna double check there's not like a random I'm not talking to that guy. Just wanna make sure there's no like random passage I didn't take. Yeah, it looks complete. That was a pretty, pretty convincing traveler run so far. So I guess you can see what my strategy is going to be in the tower. You know what's kind of sad? I drew all those cards. None of those are AP items. Yeah, if only those were energy cards. Maybe we'll be lucky we'll draw into it. I guess we have one more floor to go. We got one minor healing. So we can take advantage of that if I do get injured. This is so much. Oh no, I have one energy card. Okay, I got one energy card, which I would like to hold on to for the boss so we could just use our hand. Ooh, what a weird room. Two energy cards. That's a good sign. Hmm. I don't like that this doesn't really benefit me. Again, another really awkward position. Do I take more damage to kill this target? I don't think I want to. I think that would be a bad idea. Let's stall. Let's draw another card. So if I bomb jump, I could do the same strategy as I did before, since it seems to select a target preemptively. I drew almost all my energy cards. Oh, that's so good for us. You have no idea. Uh, it's over, chat. I drew what I need to win every challenge. GG. Greedily opening those up instead of dodging. We've ever been to basement three before. But we're gonna draw another card. <laughs> I love that we have one card in graveyard. Chat, like we we have an 80 card deck. We're down to 51 in library and one in grave. That is so unfair. He can't hit the other side. It says he can reach between there though. Which is a little concerning. I'll do something like this. Oh, he did exactly what I wanted him to do. That's good. Well... Actually, does that even matter? I don't think it does. No, I want to get rid of the buffer. So he has the ability, it looks like, to root me. Unless he can't walk through it. I'm a little confused by the indicator, but that's fine. We need to cycle our cards at some point anyway, so I think what I need to do is... Burn a card for later? Let's get rid of a Shine Spark. That's probably the card I use the least. So if I got a cycle, I'd, I'd rather do that. Drawing yet another card, because we're disgustingly overpowered. Um... Hmm... I mean, I can bait him into taking the Beta Star if I need to. If I move over one space, I can Axe Swing for big damage. Maybe I do that. And then hold on to the remaining cards. So he can't reach me. Bonk. Absolutely sick. It's... What is this room? <laughs> Chat, excuse me? Um... I guess I just... I don't even know what to think of this room, to be honest with you. 
I'm not far enough that I could do anything fun with this. I guess this is the Shine Spark room, I guess. I don't think I could hit these in a way that would benefit me. We know what I could do, actually. This is a gunshot room. Let's do something like this. I could boomerang, but that'd be kind of a waste. Um... Could Shine Spark kill him? I don't really want to pounce unless I feel like taking damage. Like, I could end this room with the pounce, just for clarity. I'd pounce on the two bugs, take two damage, end the room. Is there a better way we could do this, though, without burning anything useful? Just like a little, little teeny bit of damage? Because they're going to detonate on me. I'd prefer not to take... Actually, I'll take four damage. That's really not worth it. Uh, Boomerang would be like a last case scenario that I'd want to do. Because if I don't do anything, he's going to chuck the other guy at me and I'll take massive damage. Um, Do I use Quiet Flutter here to just get an extra AP? I mean, I do have three Adrenalines. That's kind of greedy. I should probably use an Adrenaline. Do I really want to use Double Shot here? I don't think like I do. Actually, wait a second. Alright, if I just... If I use one of our energy cards... And then I Shine Spark, does this kill? I think it does, because he's not immune to the fire. Yeah, that works. Alright, so we still have two energy cards and a flight card. So if I get aerial... I still have an aerial ace. I'm basically holding that for aerial ace. I think we should be good. <sighs> of course, an immunity enemy. But yeah, we've, we've drawn half our deck, essentially. Does a lot of damage. If only there was a third... If only the target was here. I feel like Barrage's polycast, like, never goes off. To be honest with you. Feels a little disappointing. Am I in a good position to multi-hit anything in this room? Bounce doesn't help us. I think this is one of those scenarios where I think Boomerang is the right call. Just so I can go for one-shot territory. So I need that out of the way. We dealt with the health bar there, and everything else is basically in kill range. I think that's fine. So we need to kill the key person eventually, but more importantly, we have to get rid of the Grenadier in the corner. So if I do this... Oh, I'm out of range by one space. Oh, so disappointing. I could have pounce chained and killed like three targets. Um... Hmm... I still have more quiet flutters. It might be worth using this. thinking about what would be the best combination of abilities here. I need to move at least one space forward. So I guess I could use that for now. And then if I want to pounce, I could. So I could just get rid of you, so I don't need to worry about you. And I can pounce over here, get rid of you. And I can hit you, because you're probably the more annoying of the targets. And we just need to make sure we're not in man catcher range. So both of them will be close to us. So we just gotta move one space. Oh, if only I had one more AP. I don't want to burn adrenalines. I do want to hold on to them. I could, in theory, multi-hit these. I guess that wouldn't be the worst ever. Is reducing them to just two is useful. So 
to maybe something like this. That's fine. We still have shock jumps if we need them. So more importantly, we're out of the corner. He can recover. That doesn't really matter. We got a shine spark back. So you're going to just heal. Ideally here, I'm going to do some damage. Dare I predict where the enemy is going to go? Guess I can try. And then move closer for a better combo. I'm gonna go with GG, get get outplayed. You know what the sad part is? I could draw another card if I want to. I thought about it for a second there. I was like, I could draw another card. I was gonna say, meanwhile, Raider weeping in the corner, wishing they had this many cards. <laughs> they wish the relic was this good. Holy, so I can reset my graveyard. We've somehow only played 11 cards, by the way. Like, the rest of it's just been in our hand. So, at some point, we need to reset it. Please stop giving me immortal creatures. Thank you. Um... That does decent damage, but we could do better. I could zip... into zip... Does that help me? Not really. Shock jump. I can multi-hit. So anytime we can multi-hit, I will just shock jump, because it is just massive damage if we can land it. So I could do that, but then I'm in a position to kill them. Hmm. If I do this, what's the downside? I don't think there is a huge one, to be honest. I'm almost sad we didn't injure him at all, though. Maybe maybe over here is better, actually. They're not close enough to be worth boomeranging. I could move a tile and deal with them. Recast here is actually pretty big. So I put that guy in within one health, and I can zip pretty much anywhere I want. So I might as well just keep going. What do I want to kill in this room is the question. I probably can burn another adrenaline since we're going to reset our cards at some point anyway. Well, I'm not quite in the right position for that. I could shine spark if I want to. Rumoring is okay here. Pain dash isn't bad. If I can lose 1 AP, I can pounce kill a couple of things. That might be worth it. So I can melee him. They're both at 2 health, so I think that'll work. Do this in the pounce. So that way some of the more annoying enemies are dealt with. Oh, he's out of range. I don't think that matters too much to me, though, to be honest. This is fine. Is this guy still within kill range, which is all I really want? I could do the... Do I have the other dash move? I could kill the other guy with it if I got it. Yeah, I do. So I could put myself in a good position for next turn. Let's get rid of these. Make sure they don't heal. And then I can line up with them for next turn. I think that's the right play. So we still have a hilarious number of cards to get through. Find Spark here is pretty powerful. I might do it. 
Yeah, let's shine spark. This is another room where it would benefit me. We're gonna use barrage because it's our weakest projectile. Oh, I forgot about the bomb. That's okay though. So we've now used 18 cards, so we're about a quarter of the way through the deck. Immunity monsters, chat. I'm so sad. The one thing I don't want to see. So if I move over, I then gotta do a mobility afterwards, but then I could boomerang. I think this is kind of worth it. Look at this damage, chat. Bonk. 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 Draw two additional cards. Uh... Sadly, he's aiming in the exact corner that I'm standing in, which is a bit of a shame. If he was centered on the door, I would have been fine, I think, for the most part. Um... So basically, we just need to move. Do I not have another mobility skill? Do I actually not have any mobility skills? Oh. Wow, that's awkward. I have like 20 cards, but I guess I burned them all. Hmm. I'd really prefer not to take damage here, so I'm gonna Quiet Flutter. <laughs> right, chat? One would prefer not to take that damage. So I'll do something like this, maybe, into Respite. Disappointing. You can heal all you want, I don't even care. So if I go... So he's gonna heal everything. These guys can't see me yet. Maybe it's just worth killing him? I think that's worth it. So yeah, we have to draw a couple more mobility cards. Yeah, we drew one, which is fine. Hookshot is okay. It's probably our worst mobility option, to be honest. It's not as useful as it was. If we had the AP where canceling it gives you AP. Or a Curio that did it. I think the other one's more fun. Still have an Aerial Ace. I have no energy up cards, which is a little concerning, aside from this one. Uh could just AoE him. Yeah, this is probably the right call. Let's do this. And a double strike here. So, so far we know where the the rest spot is. This one's just for trading, which is fine. Don't care about that. What is this room? Ew! Oh, I don't like that at all. I mean, this is almost a boomerang room, to be honest with you. Could hit him with rain down. I'm just so disgusted by this room, I don't even have words for it. It just, it just, it made me feel physically ill looking at the placement of these enemies. So we have to kill them. Kill the cloud people or I'm gonna take big damage. I could do that. How much does Boomerang do? Does two. Hmm. I'm not feeling the solution to this room. I mean, I guess I could finally use my Alpha Star and stop being greedy, I guess. But will he move if I do that? I think he will. Yeah, he will. So I can't predict that as easily. Um... I have Aerial Ace into Aerial Ace as a backup, but prefer not to do that. I think it's the right call to just boomerang here. I don't see what else I would do here in the same situation. It wounds the Cloud person and sets up for an easy dash kill. The problem is I mostly need multi-strike moves, which I don't really have. We could dodge this for now. Where will you throw this guy? But oh, you can't do anything with him at the moment. That's fine. So we could save cards here, which I think I will. Let's go melee this guy next turn. I think he's going for the crate to chuck at me. 
Interesting, he's still not in range to do anything. So you're gonna pull me, which is big damage, so we have to kill these guys if we can. Do I have any moves that would do this? Weirdly, no. This is such an awkward hand. Like, they're good cards, but this is like... I, I'm surrounded by tiles I can't move in to set up for it, which is very awkward. Um, I could boomerang there, but that would be kind of a waste of a boomerang. Because these enemies are not normally that tough. But I also don't want to lose, like, a lot of health. Uh, could... So, if I double strike him, I don't. I don't know how far magnetic pull pulls me. If it's if it's two tiles, we're in trouble, and I'm gonna take a lot of damage. If it's just one, we can walk out of it. That's the problem with not having done this dungeon very often. I don't know how far that actually pulls. Does it tell you? I'm assuming maybe just one. It had a little one next to it, so maybe I can get away with something like. Boop, boop, push. Oh, and the traps were off anyway. Actually, that would have been that would have been more pertinent for me to check to see how long they lasted. So they can't even combo with themselves. That's actually kind of sad. If he's gonna teleport, I just have to kill this guy at some point. So if he's gonna approach at me, so if he's gonna charge. Could Alpha Star where he's gonna walk if I want to. Really prefer not to use a double hit move here. So that's gonna do two damage to me. Uh fine. You know what? I'll just take the damage. I'm not super happy with that, but we also have, I think, a healing crystal in the other area. So let's go back to that before we go further. I want to not use anything that's in the rest area until we are, like, really strapped. So let's go back to the initial area. So we found a lot of things to work with. Could reset my cards here. We're not quite at that point yet. We're like, so if we don't get it in the rest area, we're good. So we, there's no bad RNG there. Okay, this was looking for. Yeah, there we go. So one extra HP for safety in case we have to deal with double retaliate in a room. I basically just don't want to be at like four because I'm pretty sure I just kind of game over in certain rooms if that happens. So, so far we have not found the exit. We did find a way to restore our cards, but it's only 24. I would prefer our library to get down to like 10 and then I'll consider it. What other healing area? That's good. So we have two turns to kill the whole room. This feels like a boomerang room. I could gunshot him for more damage, but I think boomerang just makes more sense here. It wounds everything. Gets rid of his double health bar. Draws two cards. There's flight. Okay, there's our adrenaline card, so that's good. So I just need something to move me in the middle of the room. I think we're fine. Could get rid of a bullseye here, which might be the right call. Next turn, we just have to get the kill on this target, which should be doable. So I just need a mobility skill, or I can clip him with axe spin. Because we've already taken out his health bar. So I think Axe Spin might be the right call here. To move over to Axe Spin. One, two, Axe Spin. That's fun. Because Axe Spin is just there to help clear challenges. We don't need it for bosses for the most part. So we're at 8 HP, so I'm feeling pretty good. This challenge... See, I'm so used to just going fast with Traveler. Like, needing to think about, like... How many cards I have is such a weird feeling. I'm just used to winning instantly, chat. It's, it's awkward. I'm like, what do you mean full clear? I don't want a full clear. I 
this is fine. Gain extra AP. So we're now up to 4 AP. I could have zipped through technically, but that's fine. Exactly. Just the traveler traveler's meant to go places. You're not supposed to go slow. So if we can land a gunshot on him, he dies. With the bounce if I hit the beetle. Uh this other enemy is in a very awkward spot. So like I could just damage them for two. It feels kind of wasteful. Yeah. See, this is where I need the shock jump. This is where potentially restoring our stuff makes sense. When you have two HP enemies that can only be hit diagonally. Just thinking about this. So I could do two damage if I want to. I could choose to take the two damage here. Put myself in a position to kill this guy. Is it worth it? I feel like the answer is no. See, I think if we play this again, I'm going to go down a couple hook shots. I feel like that's probably our least useful item. Like, this is definitely better than regular hookshot, but at the same time, it's not, like, it's not amazing either. Like, it offers a little more utility, but not in the sense that I wanted in every deck that we have. Um, I would love to have been able to line up that guy. So if we could get to a turn where he's not able to do anything, that would be huge. Where is he going to check this target if he does it? Oh, that's actually not a problem. Yeah, let's let him do that, actually. That should be fine. I think this is GG if he chucks him. So it doesn't really matter if they get healed, unless he doesn't chuck him. I guess we'll see what he does. Let's learn. Or I could just do this. Yeah, might as well just do this, in case he doesn't do it. Look at that! I used an ability! Okay, so he is still gonna toss him. So it's kinda worth it. So he should get angry and summon something. Oh, he's got a crate to chuck at me, that's fair. So let's draw another card then. We have 30 cards in graveyard, 25 in library. The rest is in our hands somehow. His life is unfair. So he can't do anything, so he's gonna stun stuff that is near him. Um... I guess I use one rain down. I'll use this one, because this one's probably the harder one for me to see. I could have done that in a different order, actually, to gain another card. That's fun. We want to keep one rain down at all times. The rest of my cards don't matter as much. A weird room. Oh, now we get the shock jump. Whatever. So this is another good room for Shine Spark. Is there anything else we could do with this room, though? Oh, multi. Multi's huge. This is why you keep rain down, Chad. This right here. The cheese. Look at this. God tier. So good. Where's Raider's double hit, Chad? <laughs> just it's for Raider. So I could zip zip if I want to just open that chest. It is blocking me from doing things. Maybe this is how you use Hookshot. You get rid of treasure chests that are in your way. And then just leave. <laughs> right, Chad? I mean, like, I got nothing better to do. Damage doesn't matter on this attack. I might as well just get rid of this. Maybe Raider will get justice in another game, maybe. I could kill him with that. What a ridiculous character. It is funny that there's healing in this room. That feels kind of unfair. I mean, do I even care about taking one damage? I don't think I do. Honestly, I think I just slugfested with him in a moment. 
right? Like, what's the downside? Like, oh no, you root me? I'm kind of okay with this, to be honest. Yeah. Let's slugfest it with him. Oh no, I've been rooted. Whatever will I do? If only there was a solution. <laughs> right, chat? I'm like, wait a minute. I don't care about this enemy. So we have a lot of healing in this room. So weirdly, this is like one of the more generous dungeons because there is just so many ways to heal. This is also kind of the nightmare for Raider. Like, imagine if you're trying to stay with Grit and you see a room like this. This this area is so bad for Raider. <laughs> you just accidentally heal and just get out of Grit and die instantly. Holy, what a nightmare. So we still have 21 cards in the library, so I'm going to keep going. We found the exit. Which is kind of disgusting when you think about it, honestly. Um... Good shock jump. Do I still have Alpha Star? I do. So I can kill the mage instantly. We just need to wound the other ones, mostly. This is disgusting. This is the power of Shock Jump, chat. If you had any doubts as to its power, look at this. Ooh, that damage. Get absolutely bodied. <laughs> right, chat? Like, that was disgusting. Then I could just gunshot you if I want to. I kind of do. What do you do? You just summon something this turn, right? Summon Retainer or like Palisades. I think he's doing Palisades, which I don't care about. So we could do... That if I want to. I can Gunshot, kill this guy. Draw more cards, because life is unfair. Uh... Do I just take the energy loss? I think I do. Hmm. Do I kill this guy over this guy? This fade is really annoying. I think I just straight up shoot him with this though. Mass disrespect. Disrespect here, chat. I'm gonna draw so many cards. Oh, so he did summon a retainer. That is slightly more annoying. So many cards. <laughs> Look at this. Walk up, melee. I guess I could use one of our many AP boosters now. I guess. What a character. Bonk. So we still have 11 cards in library, so I'm not gonna go reset our cards yet. I will soon though, probably one more room will reset it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this, this room is so dead, chat. This room is so dead, I dare them. Where does that other rest area even go? It doesn't even look like it connects with this area at all. Ridiculous. I'm getting rid of these. Technically, with uh, this, it could sometimes be useful, but I don't think in this situation it will be. Sure, let's prove our worth. So, no immunity, which is good. We have Quiet Flutter, which I think I'll use. Get that extra AP. Multi-hit here is interesting. I don't know if I want to use it, though. <sighs> this is where I need a boomerang. Unfortunate. I think this is fine. I think we could get some ridiculous combos with this. 
Yeah, this this is like the use case for the hookshot, by the way. If Chad was wondering why the hookshot is here, it's for this. So we found we found the use case where I would actually greatly benefit from it, and then I just end my turn. I did not want to walk upwards. Uh, I don't think this matters, though. Ooh, almost. Could use a zip if I need to. Do I have another zip? I have Keen Dash. Which is strictly worse than the other one, so I think I'll do this then. Yeah, see that that's why the hookshot is there. This this is like the only time where I'm like, I'm happy we have hookshot. Every other time it's just kind of a dead draw. So we'll we'll let them do whatever they want here. We have nine cards in library, so I'm not gonna go back yet. Let's draw one more card. Cause you know, you can you can never you can never have too few cards for a boss. Just or too many cards, I mean. Holy. One more room. Ooh, this room's kinda gross. I should be able to get like three cards out of this fight. Oh my gosh. I don't even know what to say about this. Okay, so I can AP up there if I want to. Can I get anything fun there? They're not close enough to shock jump. If this wasn't here, I could have had like the world's best shock jump. So sad. Is it worth doing this? Maybe? No, it doesn't put me in any interesting positions. I need to basically be here. If I'm here, I can do a lot of damage. But I'd have to move two tiles somehow. Do I burn a pounce in a non... I think I do this for an unusual movement, because I don't think there's any other way I could enter this position that I just went into without burning too many cards. So I think it's worth it to do this. I can't quite hit multi-targets here, though. I'll do something like this. So let's go ahead and get a bomb jump going, maybe? You know what? I will use an Adrenaline in this room. As long as I have one for the boss, I'm fine. We still have a Flutter Pack. Yeah, there's not really a good way to do this. I could do this, though. And with that extra energy, I can now take care of that enemy. Then I can line up with this creature if I need to. It's probably the best time to use this. Though I will. Anytime you can get 2 AP out of it, is pretty much when you should use it. So I could zip zip kill. I think that's kind of worth it. You still have a spare dash. Yeah, let's do that. Um... Maybe I back up the space in order to take advantage of Bomb Jump. So I used the enemy's healing against it, by the way, if you're wondering what happened there. <laughs> I did that on purpose. It's just so I can move if I need to. Um... Do I actually want to go back there? I don't think I do. I think this is fine, actually. We'll let it cancel. Perfect. Axe Spin is really good at cleaning up the slimes. I'm kind of happy about that. We got six cards left. I might as well see what's in the rest area by just going upwards. Oh, it's a fishing mini game. It's not even a damage area. Wow. Well, chat, this is feeling like a very convincing Traveler clear. Like, it's going to be a long video of just one area. 
But we're here. We're, we're taking a little breather. Don't mind me. I should hopefully beat this boss in one try, or I'm going to be very sad, by the way. If I have to go through that massive dungeon again, it would be horrible. Well, I'm doing it too slow. Just a little better. Fish combo. So we got 51 seconds to get a fish combo. Combo gauge almost maxed. Exactly, you gotta get the combo. Only three on that one, that one wasn't great. One more, but don't hit the mines. We'll do this. This should be a big combo. <laughs> sure, more shards that I don't think that I need. We'll take them, I guess. Funny enough, I wonder if it's actually better to not take the fish until after it's over. Just to get another fish combo. That slow, dead-looking fish. Like, mmm. You look mutated. Get in my f get in my catch. Mmm. It's like catching Blinky. You know what the sad part is? If I had held off on those fish, I probably could have gotten another combo there. So sad. Out of time. So yeah, to answer the question, it would have been better to hold off. Because I think I could have gotten one more pool of fish. Oh well. We get to see how many hilarious shards that I got that I don't think I need. I think we're already at like 10,000 something on the thing. Like granted, we still need more relics, but at the same time, we've earned so much from this. And still rising. We're at 13,000. So dying would be very unfortunate. Oh, we're actually done? Wait a minute. Wait, really? Wait, did I clear that whole thing without ever actually... Huh. I never needed to restock our cards. Wow, that is something. I thought there was another- I was wondering how those rooms went on. I'm like, is there another path? And it was like, no. Well, I guess I'm at full health, full cards. That means I have 22 cards in my hand, if I'm looking at that correctly, because we have an 80 card deck. I mean, that's- that's a lot of AP. So I have 3 AP- 4 AP guaranteed. So that's a lot of actions on a boss. We have Cardinal Shot, which is generally pretty good against bosses. If it has a companion, we could do a lot of damage. The only thing we do not want to see is retaliate. If the boss says retaliate, I will feel so sad. You have no idea. I'm going to be like, I don't know what to do. It's over. Because we didn't draw our heal card. I might as well take these because it's funny. But I don't think I missed anything. So challenge completed in one try? Because this should be the bottom floor. I If I missed a room, I'm going to be very sad. But I'm pretty sure we did it. There we go. Speed that up because that takes forever. Thank you, double time. Well, time to see what the boss is like, I guess. Keep in mind, I've not fought it before, so I don't really know what to expect. But this boss is in big trouble against me. Okay. Ooh. Okay, so if I stand still, it's going to do a lot of damage to me. But I got really bad news for you. I have a lot of energy. <laughs> Chat, I have a lot of energy. I kept an aerial ace, right? Damn right we did. Oh, that damage is so good. Do I use it now? I think I do. It puts me in a bad position afterwards, but it is very stupid. So we could just straight up delete a health bar right now. 
It means shield. <laughs> I don't care about shield. <laughs> that mechanic means nothing. <laughs> Go ahead. By all means, shield. Oh, man. So I'm assuming it's going to put a lot of lava everywhere. So if I can't kill it, I need to consider what my backup is. So we can do another health bar, but we probably want the plate from Aerial Ace. I probably want to do something like... How many spaces do I have to be away? Two. So to reposition for two Cardinal Shots. I want to go and do something like this for free damage. See, like, that's a repositioning tool that makes sense. He's about to take big damage. Thank you, Cardinal Shaw. If we had Alpha Star, I think he would just kind of die here. Alright, so now he's shielded in kind of an annoying area. I could bomb jump him. I can't quite one-shot him, though. The shield protects him. Alright, so I think what I do is... <sighs> question is, where are you gonna go? So we, we can deal with this last health bar. We need to do one health bar's worth of damage, so I need to draw some really good crowd clear here. Sadly, it looks like there's nothing I can bounce off of. So if we had Alpha Star chat, I actually would have one-turned this boss. Because I don't think the boss moves from the start. Oh wait, does he have more than... Actually, he might have more than seven. Okay, no, never mind. We can't do that. So ten is exactly how much the other one was. So if we had one more flight move, if I had one more quiet flutter, we could have one-shot him. But I don't think there's anything I could do with this list currently. So for now, I don't mind keeping flight so that we're above lava. Because I think that's the important thing. I could go over here... I probably want to fly no matter what here. I just won't burn Aerial Ace right away, if that makes sense. So our most damaging reposition tool is probably Bomb Jump. So if we can do... If we could do 7 damage, the boss dies. But I don't think there's a world in which I could do that much. Oh, I just made a big mistake. Actually, I could have killed him this turn. I'm a liar. I had more than one. Oh, I should have used Aerial Ace to Aerial Ace. Oops. Uh, does that matter? I mean, do I just tank the hit? Does that get rid of cards? So yeah, that was a misplay from my side. I could have actually killed him that turn. Um... Let's do something like this, then. So he is just, like, ultra dead next turn. I'm gonna aerial ace, and then he's done. So GG. He's still dead in, like... He basically got wombo comboed. Had I not messed that up, that would have been over. Yeah, like, that doesn't matter at all to us. See, like, he healed. It's over. I'm like a wizard in D&D. If I come prepared, it's over. Goodbye. Well, that would have been horrific to play as as the raider. Can we all agree, chat? Round of applause. I'm glad I wasn't the raider here. <laughs> New rune slot acquired. Nice. That was pretty good. Uh-oh. That was weird. Magma Barrage. <laughs> Poor raider. I was like, how is, how is he going to deal with that? His only strategy is hope I draw enough cards to one-shot? How is he getting through shield and lava? He doesn't have flight cards. He can't heal himself. He's so dead. It's literally one shot or bust. There's no in between on that boss. Raider forever besmirched. Yes, that, that was a pretty convincing boss run. I could have one comboed it, my bad. I also thought we were gonna do more fights, to be fair. Though I wasn't thinking we actually had the right cards. Oh well. So anyway, we're coming back with like 15,000 shards. Including new decks that we haven't seen before, which is funny. 
lots of magma barrage that oh maybe magma barrage will be good for raider chat will it finally be raiders time to shine so now that we've been another boss we finally get upgrades Ooh, the music changed the end of turn inflict two damage to all close units charge cast a card interesting so I guess that's signaling we're at the end of the game. We don't have that many curios left to unlock. It costs 1600 to send something there. So I have enough shards to do this, even without doing anything else. Let's go upgrade the regular cards, because I got nothing better to do with my cards. And we'll go see what the Traveler wants after that. Alright, so we, we've converted all of our boosters up. You have 10 times the amount of card. Yeah, I know, exactly. We earned so much in that last run. So unfair. Nice music. So there we go, Chad. I beat the final non-tower boss, and we're finally completing the Traveler quest. Good tidings, Traveler. What news of your journeys? As expected, a master of the Traveler will always find their way. Oh, don't worry. We found our way all over that map. That was a pretty convincing run start to finish, even with a couple of mistakes on my part. Like some input and some me just not thinking through. Is a reward for your achievement? Start a turn, gain two eight. Oh no! Chat, no! No! No AP boosters? Oh no! Oh no, guaranteed two AP? Oh, then I could put card draw back in the deck. Oh. First, you need to cast 20 cards in the same turn. It's a confusing maze, but that way you can find your way out, I'm sure. So I can kill the Magnum City Guardian without the help of the Archives. Wait, I already did that. Excuse me. I did I did it without walking as well. Hold on, I already did this achievement. You already killed me, but I know you can travel back to battle if you wish, but the reason why tricky pass. Wait, no, I did that. No, wait a minute. Wait, no, wait. <laughs> wait, I did that already. I got cheated. <laughs> I didn't move at any point. I only used the cards. Oh, come on. Really? I gotta go refight that? Seriously? Oh, come on. That should have given... Chat, that should have given it to me. I never walked. At no point in that thing did I walk. I zipped. I flew. It's ridiculous. I got cheated. That achievement should have been done instantly. And I did it with only Traveler and Clear Runes. You all saw. Cast 20 cards in a single turn. That one's actually kind of annoying with Traveler, to be honest. Uh, I have an idea of how we could do that one. We're, we're gonna cheese out that 20 card one, though. Let me be very clear. We are cheesing that for sure. We're going to open 10 at once. Yeah, like, chat, chat was my wit. Oh, we got meditation. I can complete the arena now. Hey, chat, let's do the final arena puzzle. Demolition, inflict orange if the target explodes. Inflict so close to units. Uh. Wait, there's traveler cards I don't have? Chat. Chat, look at this card. Excuse me? Wait, wait a minute. Are you telling me this Traveler card is legit one of the best uses of grit I've ever seen? Wait a minute. If I'm low on health, I double the heal, I draw, and it recasts? I get four cards, four HP when low on health? Oh my gosh. <laughs> yes, and it's the pot of greed of heals. When you're losing, you heal more. Why is Raider here? <laughs> Traveler literally does grit better in every single regard. <laughs> this is so stupid. Oh my gosh, what a ridiculous. I know it's only a two rank or two. Traveler is the better Raider, I fully agree. Actually, shenanigans. Cry out for Raider, beg for buffs. Another meditation. Get our city cards in. Any new cards? Bonfire. Build a bonfire. It heals two allies and inflicts one burn when hit. Okay. I mean, that gives... Again, this allows 
other curios to be used. I didn't get anything else in here. Oh boy. How many more Draconia things are we gonna get? Raider equal TMR? <laughs> you're not, you're kinda not wrong, actually, sadly. Truth. Place a killing arrow and we'll deal at the end of the next round. Ooh. That's Okay, that that is confidence. This is saying I've played this game before. I can predict not even a turn in the future, two turns into the future. Although, to be honest, with Root, it's only a three ranker. I could see Warden using this. This could be Warden's actual finisher. Although, sadly, I think they removed Root from bosses, by the way. That was something they nerfed. Which is a shame, because I'm like, that would have made Warden so strong. So all those pre-patch people would have been rooting bosses and just killing the killing arrow. Oh well. Fall of Draconia. Damn, no new cards in the new booster. That's so sad. I got another Master Spark, though. I'm so sad we have to do that again. I definitely got cheated. Another Alpha Star if I need it. I love that we've collected basically all the cards. I'm basically not getting anything new at this point, which is good. It means I could just upgrade boosters, I guess. Or Grave Summons. I do like that card. Oof. Get a Tower card. Literally nothing new. Uh... So I can have another 10 cards in my deck. Does it even matter? Remember the deck chat? Remember that? That was so sad. I'll keep it there for memories. Honestly, I like this more than our Jettison build. I'm gonna get rid of that. So I have 10 more cards if I want to. So it says I have to draw 20. 20 cards. Play 20 cards in one turn. Alright chat, are you, are you ready for absolute cheese? Let's set another rune. Um, I think it's safety HP if I really want to. Sadly, I could even dip into other cards at this point. It really doesn't matter. Um, I guess I'll allow for more duplicates. All right, chat. We're we're gonna play the dumbest combo of cards. I hope you're ready. We're gonna have five adrenaline. Which remember, if we're low on health, we can draw more. So we're going to get six of those. Like, six of these. I need a kill move. Oh, we need six of these for sure. Um, Replenish is funny. I could jettison. Where's jettison? It's like up here somewhere. There it is. Six jettisons. Um, double shot's a good draw card. Is there anything else I want to duplicate? I don't think so. I don't think anything else draws a card other than double shot, which we already took. Everything else is okay. So we're, we're gonna go cheese an achievement real quick, is what I'm saying. Oh, I could draw, draw in some bullseyes. I guess that's fine. A couple of those. Um, Two shuriken. Anything else that gives AP? I don't think so. Yeah, everything else is just kind of okay. We're 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 just gonna cheese something real quick. Oh, I can ninja backpack. Do a lot of ninja backpacks there, and then I could get one hook maybe. I'm not gonna play with this deck seriously. We're just using it to cheese a challenge. I think this should be fine. Like the game trying to tell me there's like boosters. Actually, why are the alerts not going away, by the way? Is that a bug? Do you notice that? They didn't go away. I don't have any packs though. Mm-mm-mm. I think this should be fine. I surprisingly don't have six ninja backpack. Yeah, I think it's a bug. 
All right, Chan, here, here's the cheese. Just gotta get 20, right? It shouldn't be too bad. If there's another ninja backpack, I'm gonna buy it. Yeah. You can buy more gamma stars, but it's not really worth it. Yeah, most of these were not that good. R Rain down is good. I don't really want more than four, though, to be honest. So we'll get another ninja backpack. So all we need now are... I, I put my draw cards in. Just to speed up the process. Boomerang's not a bad one. Some of those. That might be a little too much fluff. Let me let me get rid of some of the stuff I really don't need. Yeah, let's get rid of some bullseyes. I wanna draw I wanna increase my chance of drawing some of the useful. So we need a little more than 20 cards. This should probably be fun. Oh yeah, that's true. You're right, it did do that with the meditations. Let, let's choose a challenge real quick, and then we'll go see what the arena wants. We might hold off on Magma City again for later. I, I don't feel like literally doing Magma City again. I did such a long clear. Maybe in like a half hour I'll feel like doing it. I would like to sleep at a reasonable time tonight, Chan. That's what, that's what I'm saying. I don't want to do another 2 a.m. Dungeon Drafters. It's a bit intense. Well, we can almost implement our strategy. We just need to draw more cards. <laughs> I could draw more cards with this if I want to. I think I do. How many cards do I have in hand? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Alright, so I need a little more. So Jettison is kind of a dead card in our hand at the moment. Like, we need, we need a little more than 20 just because we have to Jettison some things. So we'll take damage from this versus doing anything. So we're gonna stall. So this is where the cheese comes into play. And if they wound me enough, then I can use grit. Which, as you saw, is very dumb. So I kind of want them to injure me to speed this process up slightly. But it has to be, like, predictable damage, if that makes sense as well. Like, I don't want to get clipped by nonsense. Otherwise, we just walk around in circles. Again, I don't know if this is what they intended for you to do. Maybe, with the, maybe they wanted you to learn the power of the curio with the challenge. So we have enough adrenaline boosters to be good. Technically, I think we could have played Oracle to complete the challenge as well. I'm trying to think, are there any other free cards? No, even Oracle would not let... Mm. Maybe Oracle with Traveler if you were duping cards. My only concern is the, the, the buck... So, like, the things like the double shots, those are the things I'm going to jettison. So all the melee moves I want to get rid of. Ninja Backpack's a good draw. So we have to draw basically nothing but our deck, and then we should be fine. Ideally, I can get more injured here, but it probably won't happen. So I think there were 40-something cards on my deck, and I just need to play 20. So I, have, I can discard every one of my shooter cards so far. And then we basically just end the challenge once it's over. I could have technically drawn more cards if I wanted to. Just to play it safe. 
Because essentially, I think Jettison would be 12. So it, it, we do need to draw like basically all of our cards due to Jettison. So I want to shuriken one enemy to get extra energy. Oh, I want to draw. Actually, I want to save my draw for later. I'm going to make sure not to use all my draw cards too. Because I do need to use them at some point. It's going to be interesting. I hope I have enough energy boosters. So if I could get a little more injured, we're good. Yeah, I think we could go for the challenge now. I have enough draw cards that this should be fine. So we're going to Shuriken. Draw a card. Not teleport. And we can Shuriken the other barrels too, which is important. So now we're going to... Jettison... Our draw card, because I don't think we need them. I think we just drew our library. Yeah, we did. So now we could just jettison those safely. Oh, the limit is... Oh, you actually have to burn them. Okay, so we do actually need ways to burn our AP. Because if you notice, I capped. Interesting. Alright. Oh, that should be fine then. So that way I can get the full advantage of these. Then I can jettison the other cards. Keep one of these in here. Just throw a boomerang. <laughs> this seems normal. Still have some jettisons. I could get rid of a bullseye with it, I think. I just want to make sure I don't accidentally get rid of too many cards, if that makes sense. I wish we had a counter. Can I see that with the quest thing? I got six more to play? Okay. Should be good. So yeah, if we just want infinite AP, Chad, I hope you're witnessing. Like, this is what we could just do to a boss now, because we have that curio. That very fair and totally balanced curio. cleared it. I didn't see the thing that said we beat it, but we beat it. Okay. Well, I guess I'm just gonna walk up and melee to death, because it's funny. <laughs> Traveler doesn't play by the rules, chat. I'm like, go ahead, injure me. Go ahead. Put me in grit, I dare you. You got confused? What a fool. Well, I might as well just restock my cards and just complete the dungeon, because it's funny. Oh my gosh, come on. <laughs> right, chat, like, come on, That's, this is just unfair. Let's get rid of our draw card and then get rid of Bookshot, I guess. Draw our shuriken. 
Walk forward, throw shuriken, get a melee range. Use flight so I could do more damage. Teleport with flight because it's funny. Use flight again. Life is unfair. Boost. And I guess we... I don't know, energy up, I guess. Yeah, whatever. We don't have to be efficient. <laughs> right, chat? Traveler doesn't play by the rules. Traveler doesn't care. Oh, my bad. I'm getting messages randomly. Uh, let's see. Energy. I think I have to destroy those if I remember correctly. So we'll teleport here. Just a little shuriken action here. Draw another AP. Hmm. I would like to get over there, actually. So let's use the flight to teleport a little closer. Actually, it doesn't matter. Oh no, that, this is fun. Yeah, this is fun. Do something like this. Uh, probably want to draw more cards. Probably jettison a jettison. That's how you know we don't care. Uh, can't melee you, because you're in the way. Unless I just back up slightly. Oh, that's beautiful. Ninja backpack for AP. Get us in one of our draw cards. Get rid of this. Try to teleport as best as we can. If I have more mobility options, this would be much easier. Draw another card, I guess. I can jettison some of these attacks, because I don't need them. Like one, two, three, four, and then maybe boomerang, which is funny. Draw cards. Get more energy. Listen, chat. Traveler, do Traveler does not care about the rules of this game. Like, how many actions per turn should you have? Yes. Get extra AP. I almost ran out of cards. That was close. Might as well as clear the challenge since I'm here. I could just energy up if I want to. The funny thing is I could just jettison again, just to, just to like show off. Like, look at that. What a character. Do you want to play Dungeon Drafters or Traveler? Yeah, it's true. I like to play Travelers and Travelers Incorporated. Or beginner dungeon chat. Big F in the chat for beginner dungeon. <laughs> the dungeon didn't get to do anything. <laughs> it's like, you play 21 cards in a turn. I'm like, I already know how to do this. We're good. I don't like doing that because it's super inefficient, but it's funny. You could do it. I actually, you know what? Hold on a second. Hold on. Wait a minute. Can I wait? Can I just go infinite? Wait a minute. Uh-oh. Wait, no, there's an infinite. No, 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 no. There's an infinite chat. If I splash Stranger, I have infinite AP and infinite cards. Therefore, my deck side doesn't matter because I could draw all my Traveler cards and all I have to do is draw into Stranger, right? Because, like, once they go in the grave, remember, Stranger puts cards from my grave back into my hand, but the things that are in the grave give me AP. Uh-oh. 
Ch chat. Uh oh. Wait a minute. Um. Let's let's build that theoretical deck real quick. Also, we haven't saved in a while. Um. So what would I do differently with this deck? I don't think starting card draw matters at all if we're playing this thing. So to be honest with you, we replace these with two and stranger. Where's the recursion thing? Where is it? I wish I knew what these icons meant. Where is it? No. Purge, regen, retaliate, stealth. No, 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 no. Where's the... I'm crap meta, random taboo. No, 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 no. I know it's... I thought it had a card type for it, doesn't it? I didn't see it just then. There's draw cards. Oh, oh there it is. Sorry, I didn't see it there. Why did it... What? Oh, that's fun. Oh. Oh, that's so disgusting. Wait, I can... Oh, no. I can use Jettison to discard Morning to draw this again. Oh, no. <laughs> Grave summons would be so powerful in this deck. Wait a minute, hold on, hold on. Theory crafting time. So Seek means I can find anything that I want, including getting back copies of Seek. So I want those. I want as many morning cards as I can handle. I go to the other thing to make sure we can purchase more of those. So basically, as long as we draw into Seek, we won't run out of cards, because we can Seek Seek. I believe is how that works, so that means I should be able to take Seek- oh, new thing. Another Leon Rare card, it's time for a strong Raider card. <laughs> That's an oxymoron, don't lie to me, Collector. It's found by a strange guy who uses the ice pack as a weapon, my source lady doesn't know what to do with it. Maybe convince the guy to pass the card forward, of course it's for a good cause, I'm only interested in registering. Up to this ice pack guy. I don't know who that is. Ice pack? Also, apparently I needed to talk to him to start building the other mirror, so oops. He mentioned that weird girl. I guess I never talked to him after we did that. So technically there's one more side quest we know that needs to be completed. Ice pack? Maybe they were in like in the upper corner. Anyway, let, let's go back here before I forget about it. Yeah, we have the Blinking Mirror quest. We now can look for the Ice character who might be at the northern place. He's back. I don't know if I want to touch his quests yet. <laughs> it's like, chat. how many cards do you want? Yes. Eviction. Seek is at five, but we could be at six. Yeah, they're gonna need it. Oh! <gasps> Oh, no, 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 but it's random. That's right, it's not within the deck. I forgot. I got excited, and then I remembered again. If that was a random card in your deck, that would have been god tier. I would have been, like, playing it all the time. But the fact that it could copy raider cards, like, nah. <laughs> right, chat? Oh, like, wait a minute. There's actually bad cards in this game? I don't want to talk to him yet. We'll talk to him later. Let's not worry about it. Well, I wish I could make another save file. I guess I should see what he wants, but I won't be doing that tonight. Fine, what do you want, stranger? A maiden, she gave me a piece of her mind after my last tale to you. She wasn't happy to say the least. She seems conflicted about something I told her about the usurper. But she left town after speaking with me. What a pity. Hope she didn't lose hope, but found the strength to learn the truth. Well, let's see, I want you to reach the end of a dungeon floor using only cards with the taboo and random traits. Also trigger... Also, it triggers five conditionals at once. I think that's a mistranslation. I think they want me to trigger five conditionals at once. This one has nothing to do with the stranger. It does it do both and I'll reward you. Even though your master can still challenge you. Yeah, that did not look properly translated, but that's fine. We're, we're not going to do that. We're going to beat the game once and then do that because I think the endings are tied into us doing that. 
Although, I don't know if her leaving also costs us an ending. If I can't get the other ending, I can't get the other ending. That's all I'm gonna say. Hmm. Character that wields an ice pack. Yeah, I don't remember either. It's a lot of, like, backer characters here. Are you Ice Knight? Are you this guy? Ah. Uh, super rare raider card, you say? Yeah, I found one. It's an unremarkable ruin in the volcano area. Didn't even register it in my ledger, because I have no use for non-ice cards. Quah! <laughs> Wanna trade it with me? No need at all. Hero, you rock ice cold. I will give it to you. No need to thank me. I paid mad money to be here to watch your heroics, you know. I could say helping you is in my nature even. So here, put this card to use for great just ice. But, oh, okay. I think he gave it to me, but it didn't show it. All right, so let's go hand in that other one. So we got a raider card. It's probably going to be like crossfire or something terrible. I don't care about it. Beautiful. This is indeed a very rare card, I could tell. Only particularly ancient raider cards inflict stun. It's a great find. Thank you for letting me register it. As we read, it's yours. Click one damage and stun to close grounded units or four to flying. Oh, that is actually a pretty good card. That would solve some of the raider problems. Okay, that, that's a good pickup. It's a shame I had to literally beat every boss except for Stuff and Tower to get a good raider card, but whatever. <laughs> Chat getting actively mad at good raider cards not showing up until now. <laughs> I mean, like, to be fair, that is true. So we'll save again. But yeah, I think this will work the way that I want it to work. So let, let's go back to this, where we get sidetracked again. So... I, if, I wanted to talk about Exhum. Yeah, so as a reminder, so if we start burning all of our cards, I can exhume all my energy gainers, and then... So if I have three Seek cards, I have infinite AP, right? I Seek energy cards, I use the energy cards. I can Seek draw cards, get those back. Then I Seek the Seek cards, and then I have an infinite combo with infinite card draw. So it feels pretty unfair. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm just gonna say, chat, like, I don't see why this wouldn't work, and I have Strider Gloves to literally draw out every single Traveler card, so the only thing I have to hunt for in the deck is a Seek. Once I get a Seek, I Seek the other Seeks, and we have an Infinite. Right? Because if I Seek a Seek, it means that I draw six, no matter what. So if I find even one of them, it's Infinite, because I only need three to get Infinite cards and infinite energy, and I can Seek the Seek. So yeah, that's just an infinite. Morning will help us kind of stall with our cards as needed. So yeah, I think that's just straight up an infinite. I don't think there's anything that can really beat that. So the only thing we really need to round out the deck are like kill cards, I guess. So like more boomerang is good. Like we need finishers. Like a couple aerial aces is fine. Full of rain downs. I don't want to go too card heavy. I mean, we do have card draw, don't get me wrong, but. Yeah, getting six jettisons. I don't think I need six. I'm actually going to go down to. Say four of these. I only realistically need three. So if I draw these early, they're kind of dead. So I'd rather just play it safe. Having six quiet flutters also gives me enough AP to go infinite. So yeah, maybe I just need literally three. So that way I can focus on damaging cards. So we could draw like a million pounces. Um, a million shocks. And we could play it like a normal deck, but it'll just randomly infinite. Couple shirk and storms if I really want to. I think this is fine. We got a couple of boss kill moves. I could put in one alpha star. So basically, I have six retrievals and six random exhumes. And the, the mornings are also good targets for jettison in, in general. I don't think I really care about hook. I'm gonna get rid of that. 
So I'd probably just want to keep about 80 cards. Because I want to hold on to like 30-something cards. The more uh, Traveler cards I have, the better, because I could get rid of those at all. I'd get a quick jump if I want to. Probably not. Put in one more Bullseye, I guess. I just want to make sure we have some damage cards or else we're going to be in trouble. Because we do need to actually kill when we have a bit of card draw. So like, Double Shot's a pretty good one to have. And it functions as card draw. Bullseye, I think, is okay to have. Because, again, it's like card draw. So most of these will draw cards or build AP. So it doesn't really matter which ones I get that are here. Replenish is just a cheap heal and card draw. So there's not a lot of downside once I have infinite AP. The only downside is, I guess, drawing the AP cards. But things like Shuriken and everything else just kind of draw out of my deck. It should be fine. Ni uh, not Ninja Backpack. The, uh, what's it called? The... Vault card into the vault is going to help me draw a morning. Basically, I need morning and seek. Any morning card is fine because I could potentially just use this to cycle more cards while looking for seek. So, this is kind of like redundancy. Seek is the only combo that I need, though. So, let's actually save this. Um. Oh, yeah, the sleight of hand. I remember that. Um. to be honest with you let's just get rid of the uh let's get rid of the raider cards so we'll have this for the future so there are a lot of cards in here but keep in mind i'm going to be stalling a lot with strider gloves to get it going and then i'll basically have all the cards that i need and we have alternate ways of drawing cards like adrenaline as well also this means we technically have infinite healing if i get more heal cards it's kind of gross but anyway we have the final challenge so we have the monk puzzle. Interesting. Alternate path meditation, regen thorns, fateful end. Okay. Right. So this will be the last challenge of the arena. This would be the card that does damage based on how many cards you drew that turn. Yeah, that would be like the the great finisher. I'm surprised there isn't a card like that because that's they that exists in Slay the Spire. So I have to beat it in one turn, right? Purge self, discard up to three selected cards and shuffle library. Each card is discarded. But I don't have any draw cards. What's the point of this? What? Alright, so I think I need him to take two thorns damage. I don't understand what the point of these cards are in the combo. So we Fateful End to copy a Regen Thorn? Is that just the, the puzzle? I'm not understanding something. Let me, I'm probably gonna fail the puzzle once because I forgot how Premonition works. Is that just any card in my hand? Oh, and then I can place it there. Okay, you know, that's fine. Okay, so then I can get rid of this and then draw it twice. So is there a reason... I mean, I have 4 AP, right? Why do I need this much AP? Oh, maybe because I have to kill him, because otherwise the skeleton kills me. That's fair, I guess. Oh. Oh, that's a problem, actually. I'm not going to have enough for this. Huh. So I don't have an. I'm off by one AP, so I did something wrong. So he's going to kill me here, I think. Yeah. Hmm. Let me think about the puzzle one more time. Hmm. 
Okay. So we have the ability to manipulate the top card. It puts us here. So I think I need to draw twice. I'm just thinking about the order of operations before I commit to this. I didn't see what the point of meditation was. I feel like it's kind of trolling me. Is there something I'm not understanding about this card reading it? Like, that's the only thing I could see to do to do it. So I'd like Faithful and one of the monsters. <sighs> okay. Strong. Shuffle library after each card is discarded. I feel like it does more than what it's telling me there. So let's let's try something a little different. So let's do this. And then we can. Do I do another mob here is the question. I guess I could try to Faithful the, end the other one. So I'll end up with both Premonitions, which I think I do need to do. I think where I'm just confused is how to use Meditation in this combo, because when I'm looking at this, it doesn't seem like it does anything, but I feel like you have to do something with it, which is why I'm a little confused. So, I mean, like, I can alternate path the... this. So, like, do I get rid of one of the premonitions? Do I get rid of both premonitions? I don't know what this does. I mean, I might as well see what it does. Not letting me do more. Confusing me. Why is it not letting me? So it says up to three. So how do I make it confirm with just this? Hello? <laughs> Question mark? Do I really need three cards? Or is this just an issue with controller and I'm getting trolled? Because I, I don't have another card to select. So I have that in my end. I feel like I should be able to do something here, but I can't. So if I just roll the cards as is, I lose. Do you know what I mean? Like, there's something not quite right. Maybe I could try using the mouse briefly. One second. Because I don't see anything that, like, advances it. Like, the, like if I hit Y, it doesn't do it. None of the shoulder buttons do anything. Expect UI doesn't help me. Oh, now it went through. Oh, that is really kludgy. Okay, so you can... I, I don't know what magic series of buttons you needed to hit there, but that was very confusing. Please fix that, Dungeon Drafters. Select yourself. I was trying. That felt very weird to do. I did not like that. I don't see why I shouldn't just be able to confirm why I have to... Whatever. It's fine. So now I should live. Kill that thing. Yeah, is this the before? The controls are really awkward for the, like, the game controller. I'm not a fan of them, to be honest with you. It's definitely much easier to play on PC. So now we're done with all the challenges, I think. So I don't really understand how Meditation did any of that. Like, I'm gonna look at that card one more time, but like, when I looked at the physical description, that card did not do anything that I thought that was going to do. Because it said Purge, select three cards, but then it didn't say anything about drawing in the description. Okay, I did get starter boosters, which I don't care about. Uh, do, 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 do. Can I look at this card again?
I don't want to get rid of my deck just to find this. Uh, should have been up here. It was a 3 1. Like, when I look at that, <laughs> there's not anything on that text that tells me that card should have worked the way that it just did. Like, Purge Self is fine, understandable. Discard up to three selected cards, great, we did that. And Shuffle Library after each card is discarded. And it says card minus. Premonition copied the card. Oh, it's part of the Premonition bonus? Oh, that makes more sense then. Interesting. So is there anything else we have to do here? No, you don't have to remind me. So I'm surprised we're not allowed to go further. Thought we beat everything. So all the challenges look done. Oh, we already beat the drafts. I'm not sure why they're still glowing unless it needs me to beat it multiple times. We, we played one of each last, like, three sessions ago, I want to say. Sure. So we did all the puzzles. We did the gauntlets. We did the draft arena. I guess it just hasn't unlocked. That's fine. Also, I'm noticing it's starting to slow down again. So, it looks like they fixed it in most areas, but not in the arena. So, let me quit to desktop, actually. So that is actually really awkward to do. One second, let me reboot. So, yeah, they still have some memory leak issues. I think it was fine up until the arena. I, I didn't notice any slowdown when we were in the lava area, for example. But once we completed one thing in the arena, it got real laggy. Yeah, see how it's back to normal? So unfortunately, it looks like they still need to work on that. So they said it's resolved. It's not resolved. <laughs> That's proof. I did nothing but reboot it, and it's fine now. Okay. So now that that's over, is there anything else I really want to do? I don't see the mirror lady here. There is this, though. Oh, did she just put a little teleport here? Interesting. Looks like the mirror's done. Came out pretty good, don't you think? Heard some mana glass was found in a new corner of the island. Think the death of the Guardian caused that, so thanks. Okay, so this is just a shortcut to go here going forward. Okay. So we did complete it. So I did need to talk to the other engineer. And then we were good. Okay. I don't think there's anything else I really want to do. Magma City took a long time to get through. I'm so sad we did not get the... <laughs> we should have instantly gotten the clear for that other challenge. Because we did the... We did every single room. We managed to reach the bottom floor. And we never moved, and we two turned the boss. I was like, whatever. So sad. It's like Tales of Symphonia all over again. If you overachieve, it doesn't track it. So, do I feel like doing another run? It's like 11 o'clock. I feel like the answer is no, to be honest with you. Is there anything else I could do quickly? I thought we were at least gonna unlock more things. Finish Dungeon Floor casting only random and taboo floor taboo cards. I mean, I could probably do that one. Five conditional triggers in one turn. Um... I would have to think about what cards would do that. I mean, I guess it's just play Grit. <laughs> grit would probably be the easiest one to do there. What set of floor am I in the tower? I just cleared the first set, I think. So I, I guess next time we'll do Guardian of Magma City. I just don't feel like doing liter- we, we literally just spent like two hours on that run. I don't really want to go through that place again. I mean, granted, it'll be faster without the full room clear, but that did take quite a lot of time. 
Uh, only casting random and taboo cards. I guess I could do that challenge now, just so that we don't have to do it next time. That reminds me, let's go take care of the boosters. So we've otherwise completed everything. There's nothing left to do other than the last Traveler Challenge. I guess I could do the Stranger one if I want to. But I kind of want to see what the other endings are like before we do that. Yeah, we'll keep that deck for now. Uh, I don't think I'll get anything from this, sadly. I mean, I guess in a way I'm just earning these back. Oh, another Limit Breaker is actually pretty good. Too bad I don't want to use Raider ever again. <laughs> right, Chan, I'm gonna say- I'm gonna say no to- I'm gonna say no to Raider. No thanks. We have, like, near infinite AP with Traveler. We have stupid card draw thanks to the Curio. With Stranger, I'm pretty sure we can infinite card draw, infinite AP. Now that we have, like, Seek times six, I think it's possible just to loop those forever. Um, I guess we could do the one last challenge, as I said before. I'll get there eventually on the controls. Let's make sure this is saved. Okay, so I don't want to redo this. So we're going to clear this, and we're going to select... Actually, I already forgot. Random and Taboo. Taboo is the other one. Disregard. Uh, let's clear the runes as well. Uh, draw extra cards, extra cards, extra health, maybe. Let's set the taboo trait and random. These are the only cards we can select from. That's fine. That's fine. This is fine. Just, I don't think I like that card. Spiderlings are fine. See, my worry about prayer is that, like, if I play prayer and I get a random card and then I use the random card, I think I just failed the challenge. We'll dig deeps. These. Thank you for the good luck, Imperameter. Do I feel like having a lot of HP to survive Maelstrom? Maybe... Put one Maelstrom in there. I mean, I need more cards, for sure. I guess I could do some of these. So... Doesn't matter what dungeon floor I do, so I don't feel like doing a serious one with that. The only thing we need to do is change our curio. So we could get premonitions, which is kind of nice. Charge start a combat. I don't think there's anything in here that's too exciting, sadly, for this. I don't really have, like, a good stranger card. Unless, like, maybe Plasma Quartz. I don't think it really matters what we do in here. Although, actually... Wait a minute. <laughs> hold on, we're- hold on, we're gonna ignore the challenge. Unless melee doesn't- unless melee makes us fail it. Let, let's find out. Let's- let's see if they thought about this. One second. Did they think about this? Let's find out together. If melee is allowed, this is gonna be a very dumb challenge. But if I fail as soon as I melee, we'll find out, I guess. I mean, I imagine I have to be able to melee. 
So I'll arbitrarily cast a card, and then I'm just gonna melee everything to death. Sure, let's seek... Uh, sure, these. See that? I used a card. And since we have so much health, I'm not gonna bother. I'm not gonna bother doing anything other than meleeing. Go ahead, hit me. Doesn't matter. Oh, I unselected the curio. That's unfortunate. I mean, I still think it's easy enough that we're probably fine in there. All I gotta do is hit the end, right? Yeah, that's fine. Uh... Do something like that. So, so sadly, without my curio, I do have to care slightly in rooms like this. So sad. complete the maiden mini quest line. I was told that she left. That's about it. I didn't do anything else with it. Yeah, I was saying for next time, I didn't want to admit I didn't even want to do the stranger. I was probably just going to beat the game as is. This is such an awkward hand. I guess I could do something like this. Yeah, so seek requires me to have at least... So if I seek a seek, then I'm good. So I guess with six, I should be able to infinite. Um... I need the dice roll to deal with the other enemy. So let's do something like this. Yeah, very unfortunate I didn't select the curio. It's just one of those things where I select it and I think I'm unselecting it by accident. Just that that one's definitely on me. That's not the game's fault. But it's just like one of the things where it's just like. I kinda wish you had to hit something else to unselect it too, but whatever. Yeah, that should injure both of them, which is what I want. in range. A little risky, but we still got it. So I'll probably go back and heal. <laughs> so I could just do this. Oh, they only last a single turn. Oh, they don't linger. Interesting. Okay, then I'll do this. Good to know. He should be dead next turn. I don't have to do anything special. Well, anyway, my goal originally was just to melee them to death with the curio. But whatever. I'm committing. I don't feel like resetting. 
Just that we lose time when I have to go back like this to heal. Actually, that was the exit. Never mind. Disregard. Thought we had one more room. That wasn't too bad then. Let's see. Does this count? Yes. So that one they probably should rethink. <laughs> So, that's not any different than how we cleared the melee challenge. So, we had one where it was basically the raider challenge was... Don't, don't use any cards, essentially. And win. And in this one, I, I used a card arbitrarily. Welcome, Charlie. Hope you're doing well. At least that's out of the way. Five conditionals. I'll think about that. Is that... If we could do that one quickly, that might be good. So we're never going to use that deck again. That, that felt terrible. Um, Conditionals would just be, like, Grit, Precision. Oops. Hmm. And I guess it wouldn't hurt. Was it all in one turn? Just wanted to verify. One turn. Um, I think that's still doable, especially now that I have all these rune slots. So let, let's start with the setup. So I need traveler, and I need raider. And then I just use a lot of grid cards. I think that should be fine. Just got back home from work. Nice, nice. We're just clearing up some quick ones. I'll beat the two raider card. It's at the bottom of the library. Um, mostly just need to see which one is grid. I also don't like that. Okay, so. Chan, I'm just gonna point this out. This is the kind of stuff where I'm I'm not nitp nitpicking. This is very annoying. How come when I'm in the trait list, I can D-pad anywhere I want, but when I'm in the UI selector, down goes in a row, and it's forced to go that way. Why did they code it like that, chat? Please change this. Please change this. There's, like, if I want to see what the bottom of the list is, it's like... You know, I gotta, like, mash it through. I don't think I should have to do that, to be honest with you. I don't think I care about these. Refamiliarizing myself with icons is for the better, so I don't mind looking over some of these. Also, fix this. <laughs> I mean, I can see they were using HTML or something, because they got the, the bold tags. B slash B. So, oops, they messed that up. Where is... Reshuffle? No. Global... Some of those are good to know. Phaser. Phasers never affect allies. Oh, interesting. I don't think we've ever had that come up before. That's good to know, I guess, in the future. Well, anyway. Let's do... <laughs> I could do one of the generic traits. I don't think I want most of these, though. Yeah, most of these are just kind of okay-ish. Is there anything in particular I want with this deck? I probably need Root at some point. So I could take that one pretty easily. I don't think I want Exhume. I don't think I want any of the traps. Interestingly, I don't actually see grit in here. Pretty sure I did not miss it. So, like, if we just go to... One of these. I'm assuming grit is a conditional. So I can load up with grit cards, maybe. Unless... Does Tempest count as a conditional? 
It does more damage versus flying enemies. I would have liked clarity as to what that would work on. I don't want kill recasts. Do precision, maybe. Hmm. I don't think discard counts as a conditional, but maybe it does. Because, I mean, they should just be guaranteed every time you use it. Unless you're using it via only the discard method. I don't think we've ever really bothered with Energy Needle, even though it's a 5 ranker. I mean, it does a damage, draws a card, and basically goes AP neutral, but... Yeah, like, initiative makes sense. I could make a Traveler deck with initiative, if all I want to do is chain zip between, uh... Like, the Magma City Mages. I might unintentionally get that. If there's ever... Because I could recast, 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 recast... I don't know if I'll get a fifth one, though. Get getting it four times is easy. Five times, I'm not sure, with recast. Because there are, like, the uh, sea enemies or whatever they are, that have one HP, but they got three health bars. So I can easily get three recasts off of them. If they line up, I guess it kind of works. Hmm. Alright, so let's get cards that injure ourselves. Flame Ring copying is not good enough. Pummel's good. That could be our finisher with grid. Oh, that's a good point. I'm assuming it doesn't matter. It doesn't say the word different. Well, that is a good catch, potentially. So I think from here... We won like six of these. And now I just need a lot of energy. Hmm. Is that good enough though? I don't think it is. Yeah, like, I can see, like, a Traveler recast combo. The problem is there's a lot less grit cards than I realized. Wow, Raider is just so bad. <laughs> I'm just like, <laughs> chat, please. <laughs> where, where are the, I guess their only good cards are the five rankers? I mean, to be fair, like, Tornado's fine. Like, Tornado's okay. Game Retaliate wanted... Oh, I don't really want to do it. Oh, do I really want to do an initiative card with them? I mean, I guess... It just feels weird that I only have that many Grit cards. Do you know what I mean? So I have 13 cards right now that can Grit. Now I just need Energy. So I probably want to get some Jettisons. I can replenish just to end the combo of grid. Uh, fire a shot that inflicts one plus five damage is the only card in hand. Initiative draw one for each point in image. Interesting. Justice for a raider, yeah, something like that. It's like one of these things, like, if you're X distance away, does that count as a conditional? Do you know what I mean, chat? Like, this is where, like... This is where, like, I'm not sure. Like, it's not even, like, a black text thing of, like, initiative, which I assume would be recasting. You know, that makes sense. But, like, a card like this, or, like, stand X tiles away with headhunt, is that a conditional? I guess I could get a couple of bomb... Oh, I put Fitting Blow in there by accident. I guess I could do a couple bomb jumps. 
it's the condition cards. Oh, do you mean like status effects? Like burn, poison? It's the ones that have triggers. Oh, okay. Yeah, that should be fine then. Because otherwise I have to redo the deck. I don't really want to do that. Um... Man, I just have like a really awkward draw. Let me think about this. If I get rid of... Oh, I can't get rid of those. <laughs> do I get rid of Raider? I only get Tempest from that. Maybe I do just get rid of Raider. <laughs> just get rid of Raider. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. Hold on. I don't actually need this card. Yeah, let's just get rid of it then. Change our runes slightly. Get another Traveler, so I have more AP gain and potentially card draw. Yeah, like, because that gives me access to Hookshot, which is just another way of getting it. Burn, gain retaliate one for all enemies in the area, which again is really weird and a deck that doesn't heal itself or have shield or stun. This feels like a really weird card. I don't understand why it's in there, especially at like a mid rank. Just, I don't know. Different fireballs. I mean, I should probably take a couple double shots. So it's okay to have a couple of kill cards. Let's do another initiative card. So now at this point, I just want to have more jettisons? I don't think I want any of these. So the problem is... How do I draw the cards that I actually need, is the question. Like, Traveler's really easy to get. You get a recast? <laughs> Theirs is so bad. Oh my gosh. Chat, how how is it fair that these are on, like, the same tier? They're right next to each other. That one, like... <laughs> so, like, this one, Strider Glove just draws cards by existing, and then this one's like, yeah, I guess we'll be fine. I mean, I'm gonna select the Curio that gives me whatever I move. So I honestly just need to draw into my additional cards. So I can rip, I can forcibly go into Jettison. So what do I need to win? What would be my theoretical best card draw? I would have five Grit cards. And then I could just walk around until I have these. Maybe four grit cards, because I should be able to draw into a precision and initiative. Maybe that's how you do it? Because Quiet Flutter is just free AP, so I could even just get rid of it with Jettison, which is fine. Just thinking if there's anything else I should do. I think this might be good enough. Is there anything cheap that I'm forgetting about? I guess I could always get a sharp dash or something. That one's pretty easy to trigger. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We should draw basically everything that we need. Uh, I'll take a I'll take one boomerang. Safety boomerang. King dash, I don't see myself using as much as sharp dash. I'll draw one Shuriken Storm, since that's free AP. Blink Strike is too situational. Let, let's try this. We'll, we'll go for a simple deck. So basically, if we draw any green cards, we have to dump them. Let's see if this works. I gotta do five in a row. Cards. What is 
What is going on? Hello? Background? Hello? Don't think it's supposed to do that. <laughs> right, chat? Hmm. Yeah, that was weird. I guess I damaged myself. So I got a couple of these. I do need to get rid of these, though. We're drawing all of our extra cards. Let's... Get rid of Bomb Jump. I need to draw more conditionals. That's not a bad one to draw into. But the problem is we drew a lot of Traveler. We have, like, about 50-50. I Double Edge needs to just be used on a target regardless, which is fine. So that's not a big deal. So that's a card we can easily get rid of. Then I can jettison just to get rid of cards so they're not, like, dead in my hands. Hold on to that. Get rid of this card. So I can get rid of Quiet Flutter if I need to. I need to basically hold a Jettison and a couple Quiet Flutters. Holy Hit is good. I need to take more damage, though. Oh, this is a good room to take damage in. And again, it might just be straight up easier to do it with the Curio. I could just go for the pure Traveler route next time. But unfortunately, I am drawing almost nothing but Traveler cards. Which happens with Curio, don't get me wrong, but it's like... At the same time, it would have been nice. Let's get rid of... These cards. I'm gonna choose not to move to hopefully draw a Raider card. Because Curio will eventually drain our Traveler cards out, which is what I'm looking to do. So if I just end turns without doing anything, I should get a hopefully a Raider card. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So we almost have Grit, which is good. I guess I could have gone for the, uh... Actually, I should have gone for the cheap draw, draw card, now that I think about it. Because that would have helped me in that situation. So we have two Grit cards. I can draw a card to finish the chain. So I have three Grit cards. I just need to draw initiative cards now. So we're going to take damage on purpose here, I think. I think this is fine. So basically, we're going to stall. Because this Curio is super OP. I'm really surprised they left it like this, to be honest. As you're about to witness, we're going to draw the rest of our Traveler cards. I now have Grit, so I should have enough cards to win. So I need to be able to initiative once, which we could probably do. I could probably precision somewhat easily. Poly hit is pretty easy to get. We have something to leave grit. So I already have five cards that can do it, and we still have more cards in Traveler. So let's just draw our cards. <laughs> Hashtag please nerf it. Okay, we drew Jettison, so I could get rid of the Flutters to just get free AP. So we have enough to do it. I also have Bomb Jump as another precision. The problem we might run into is if they have three health, we might not be able to do it as easily. But the difference with the, uh, what's it called? The double shot is that it can do one damage. So it can potentially technically give us two triggers, but more realistically against the weaker area, it's going to be used on the slimes. So anyway, Chan, I'm just going to draw my deck. Don't mind me. You know, just casual, like whatever. So you have two Jettisons, I can get like five AP so I can position properly. Should get some mobility cards, got <laughs> another Jettison. Yeah, this is fair. Yeah, just casually draw your whole deck in a random room, it's fine. I can even take an extra damage point if I really want to. Wow, I drew everything I need for the Jettisons to work. Now we just need our other cards. 
Do we even... Okay, so we just drew another initiative card. Great. So that makes it easier. There's Sharp Dash. This, that's a great one to pick up in this area. Just casually open your portfolio codes. I'm like, yeah, they, they really should not let me do this. Oh, did we run out of cards finally? That's funny. <laughs> so now we have nothing but Raider. So it's not like we didn't draw more of the Raider cards, but uh, I'll probably be fine. So here's my thought process. Uh, if we kill a slime, so we, for example, we can, uh, we can potentially initiative off of one of them. If there's two small slimes, I can target them individually for multiple hits. Uh, we have bomb jump in case something is three health. Uh, we have more things that give initiative. We have a few things that just give grit. So we just use these. And we have a grit finisher. Poly hit is also not hard. In most areas to achieve. So I should just be able to win. I have near infinite AP. I can use these flight boosts. Potentially, like, I can manually use one of these to get another mobility option. That's fine. So we just need a room with, like, a slime, basically, and then I think we're good. It is funny I can see exactly what cards are left in the library. Oops, all Raider. So this might not be a bad one to do. So you can see, like, I could do that. Do I want to do anything else? So that could get the chain going. Then if I hit the other slime... Could do that for more. That might be worth it. Doesn't give me poly hit though, because there's not a third target. Hmm. Just thinking. Let's start by just getting rid of these. Just to make sure we have enough AP. We'll keep a couple of the flights, just in case. So we still have two mobility options. I have the ability to poly hit, which I believe I can just use on objects as well to trigger. So it's mostly just a question of how do I get close enough? And also use double shot to do like a ricochet shot to destroy something. So that we could do one, two, three. I don't know if this actually has to hit or if I just have to use the card for it to work. I guess I should have tested that before. So I could come over here if I want to. I mean, I guess to make sure that I gain an AP and we don't get cheesed. I do something like this. So I could end up there if I want to. thinking. So I could do the poly hit. Wait, what? Wait, I only played like two cards. What? Did I miss something? What? I didn't even do my combo yet. I mean, that's fine. If you want to give it to me for that, I guess it triggers molt. Does, does Jettison count towards that? I only really jettisoned a couple of... Oh, maybe discard. Oh, that's true. I think it was mentioned earlier, discard counts. Oh, so yeah, that is super easy with Traveler. I mean, I was going to show you what I was going to do. I mean, this was my thought process. But if it just needed that, that doesn't really matter. Um, I could zip to you to kill you do one of these to finish you initially but i was planning to do like a bomb jump over here i was trying to decide if it was better to go over here or not i think i was going to do something like this to be tricky with it so like for example to get additional hits i was planning on doing this which i thought was clever to then go back here and then i was just gonna burst and that would have triggered the other grid. And then I would have had two targets here, and then I was just going to boomerang. 
That's how I was planning to do a chat. That that was that was the thing I was picturing in my head. I forgot discard counted. So that's that's what would have happened. And then I could have done I could have even desperate burst this thing if I wanted to instead. Could gunshot something if I really wanted to. We have a million AP points. But anyway, I might as well do this. Whatever. Yeah, we had the other cards in there just as like backup, but yeah, Traveler. Traveler's so OP. <laughs> Let's just why why do I feel like every every time we're at a challenge, it's like just use Traveler. It's just the right answer every time, without question. Except if it comes to summons. And only when it comes to summons. <laughs> so that often the answer. Get rid of these. Let's see, will I die because I'm playing Jank Raider is the question. Come over to you at least. I don't like that it put me there. Yeah, I don't like that it did that. I thought it was going to put me below. Huh. That's awkward. Well, time to jettison stuff, I guess. Sure, we'll just walk up and melee you. Disrespectfully. Hmm. Okay, where are you aiming? Oh, you're aiming exactly where I want to be? That's awkward. Don't want you to summon Beetle or we die. <laughs> Unambiguously, it's game over. Let's kill you now. All two cards. Yeah, and this is the kind of thing I was thinking we could also use to draw additional cards, which lets us draw Raider cards. Um, I could jettison one of these cards. <laughs> I could jettison our actual Raider cards because they're kind of terrible. Yeah, let's do that. I feel like that's appropriate in the Raider deck. That's just the right call every time. And I can recast it again if I want to. So of course I do. And then I can cast it again. Oh my gosh. Chat, please. Why do they have like the best healing ability? Oh my gosh. So if I'm at one... <laughs> Come on. That's that's not fair. Come on. <laughs> Went from 1 HP to 6. <laughs> Traveler is so busted. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> how, did they, how did they not nerf Traveler? <laughs> like, I should not be able to do that. I'm sorry. That is a... I know it's like a quote-unquote rare card, but that like completely invalidates like two entire other deck healing. <laughs> like, why even play Warden? <laughs> just so stupid oh my gosh like warden has some nice setup but like you have like near infinite ap near infinite card draw you can set up like five million cards in your hand every every floor if you want to just so unfair i mean does it even matter what i do i don't think it does right as long as i don't walk forward and stay there I mean, I might as well just line up with them, I guess. Just draw another card with Curio. If we had uh, restocked. It's, the Curio is fair. See, it's like, look at the struggle, Chad. Like, they have these, like, I can only attack one tile away cards. Traveler, meanwhile, is doing, like, seven damage full screen. They boomerang, hit a target for six. They just don't care. <laughs> they just don't care at all, Chad. Uh, do I want to do this? I think I have to. It's kind of awkward. It puts me at one. Um. Sure. We'll do that later. So as long as we don't get rooted, we should be fine.
Unfortunately, he did center it on me, so I gotta do something like this. Thank you, Desperate Burst. Oh, Traveler, you're so unfair. Just shake your head, chat. <laughs> we call that the Traveler privilege. Like, come on, I'm not even, like, awake at all. I'm still, like... I'm thinking about from the standpoint of, like, combos. Just how much Traveler gives compared to everything else. Oh, hey, look, we got another Curio messing around. The end of combat, all allies are transformed into treasure chests. Ooh, that's kind of neat. That's neat, chat. That's neat. I like that with Oracle. I like that. So when you don't really need card draw anymore, you just go for that. Yeah, it's neat. Too bad I'm probably not going to use it, but it's neat. I don't really plan on farming. So yeah, we're almost done with everything. So what do we have left to do? I could hand in the, the, the stranger one. As long as that doesn't mess up anything, I'll hand it in. I'll, I'll refer back to... I don't know how to say your name. RHBS55. As to whether or not handing in this final stranger one will do anything. Okay, you don't have anything new to do. I'm just going to upgrade these because I got nothing better to do. Yeah, I definitely do not want to use that deck at all. Chaotic Pack of Fortune. That one seems kind of fun. Okay, so completing Stranger is fine then. Okay, so we got a little extra then. Let's see if we get any Stranger cards. I am missing a lot of them. Or we'll just get another Alpha Star. I mean, as we saw before, chat, like, imagine, imagine if there's, like, this really annoying summoner that's full screen and forces you to fight their little fish thing, and there's just a card that you could just put in your deck that makes you draw seven and you kill them instantly. That's what they gave Traveler. I don't understand why. <laughs> I, I genuinely don't think that they should have that. Oh, hey, one more mirror. One more mana glass from Kind Adventures. Having a shortcut from the encampment to the bank is useful, isn't it? That's only a matter of time before here deals with the tower and we have a banquet. Okay, so we did get another mirror. Guess that's kind of useful. I guess. Too bad I want to go upwards. Yeah, I don't think there's anything down there I have to do. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else I need to do. Okay, well, let's hand it in. That was pretty easy. How's your progress with mastering chaos? Going well. Impressive. I thought this was a decent challenge, but you did it regardless. I'm sure you'll climb the tower in no time. Take this trinket, something to help with your adventures. Until we meet again. Activation and start to turn Exhum 3, cast a stranger card. Uh, that would have been nice, actually. I mean, that's, that's still potentially very useful. It depends on how much it's needed to charge, though. That's another relic that I feel like would just make you go infinite by having it, slash curio. Ooh, it requires five. I mean, don't get me wrong, that's still pretty strong. Would I want that over... If I was doing Stranger Traveler, would I want the guaranteed exhum? Or would, do I want the BS of just walking around in a circle and getting infinite cards? <laughs> Both of them inevitably lead to a full hand, potentially. The problem is, well, I guess if all you have is stranger cards that exhume, it's not as bad, because then you just re-exhume your cards to get the cycle going. So this is kind of like a safety. I just don't know if it's really needed. Immune immune one's nice. That, that I think, makes the, the warden a lot more fun. Then you can actually spend turns setting up gizmos without worrying about anything. Which is kind of nice. So if we sp if we spend three turns, for example... Yeah, so this is like the perfect thing to kind of fix like what some of the problems Warden has. Warden doesn't have like a lot of AP gain. So if they just have immunity from something or like shield while also doing something, 
that fixes a lot of their issues compared to like the traveler for example or the oracle who genuinely don't care where they are relative to the enemies most of the time because they have so many options to hit them it doesn't matter this would allow me to actually get good setups with the warden card i think i would actually play with this if we ever did warden again it's a shame we got it so late because i don't plan on playing warden again because traveler's busted but you know it would have been nice and i think with those other enhancements to the warden cards for extended immunity it does kind of set that up kind of nicely. So I guess in a way, maybe you could do a combination of Warden Raider <laughs> just to try to get as many immunity turns as possible. <laughs> oh boy. Because then if they walk up and melee you, now you can use your Raider cards. Suffer damage from an attack. I just don't... Like, I see cards like this and I'm like, why would I ever build around this gimmick? And then, like, it's only Retaliate 1. It's not like it stacks Retaliate based on the number of times you took damage. It just... just why? I don't know. Some of these are just like, hmm. Yeah, Battle Mage Pin is kind of interesting. Just doing random damage nearby. But it's not as powerful as the other ones, for sure. <laughs> Stone Sigil. I'm, I might need that with Raider. <laughs> I need that more than their other abilities. But I do find it really funny that Raider's best curio so far has been Vampire Hood, which they seemingly have buffed, because I think it was three attacks before it needed to charge, and it's down to two. Which is really funny, because you just trade blows over and over and stay within grit. So if you just have a lot of HP, then technically, you healing from like three to nine, for example, would still keep you in grit, which is funny. But it's just kind of one of those things. Raider seems very difficult to do purely Raider. Yeah, exactly. Like, I think that's like... <sighs> like, we started Warden Traveler, and I don't feel like Warden Traveler really synergized all that well with each other. Maybe early on, before you got projectiles, the Warden, like, crossbow was somewhat useful. Or the, the Arbalist equivalency was useful. But, like, the moment you even get vaguely close to the three stars, like, consistent, not even, like, the four and five rankers, it just feels like green pulls just like so far ahead. I mean, like, just look at the ridiculous three rankers here. Like, double shot is like one of my best favorite abilities in the game. Shock jump is one of my favorite abilities in the game. Sharp dash is one of my favorite abilities in the game. Uh, obviously, we we've seen the power of boomerang. I don't need to preach that. But I mean, like, there's just like three or four instant pounce. There's like three or four shine spark. So that's like five different cards. And before we are allowed to get like a lot of duplicates, that's like 20 cards of like the 40 card deck that would just be these, let alone like the other amazing things in green that exist. Because I even, I wish we got more Shuriken earlier. I do actually like Shuriken now that we've been playing with it more. And I do think Bullseye is also okay. Energy Needle, I think we got from like a special thing, so I'm not counting that. But it's like, just some of their core cards are really good. I mean, we didn't get Alpha Star until like midway through. But even then, like, Alpha Star is only three. Like, we have a thing that deletes every single enemy except for a boss in one use. And it and that's more just the dungeon order rather than like the rune order, or, like doing rare quests. Like, this was not super difficult to get. We just had to play a couple of areas later, that's all. So it's just like, man, just the power of that compared to like all the other three ranks is like completely insane. And they already have their like energy card stuff and they have abilities to draw and discard and stuff like that. Just very silly. I'm not sure I'm a big fan of Gamma Star, but technically, I mean, that's only one rank. Being able to put three things down means I'm probably going to do two damage to something full screen. That's okay. Early on. I guess. I think even things like Hook and Kunai are okay. I think I preferred Hook a little more just because it would let us uh, go full screen and dodge stuff pretty easily and set up for more damaging stuff. So like even if I was just like splashing Hook, for example, into Raider, like how good that is to finally have an approach move <laughs> that goes like full screen so you can actually bother to hit stuff with Raider. And I, I wish there were more like combinations of thing of suffer and grit with uh raider like i wish they just kind of double downed 
Because there's like the whole thing with the wound mechanic, but most of the time it's like, I don't really see the point in using it most of the time. Unless you're only splashing Raider, which is like, why would you ever do that? I just don't understand, chat. Just, I don't get it. I mean, like, I like Fury Swipes. Like, that was kind of a classic low area clear card, but, like, they can't do anything against ranged targets. Like, look at their, like, early stuff comparatively. Like, how many projectiles and movement abilities do they have? Like, they have Downpour, which does a single point of damage. That's not going to kill anything outside of the tutorial dungeon. Unless you have, like, literally three in hand. Yeah, Reckless Charge we barely got, which would have been nice if we got it earlier, to be honest. Ice Ball is really weak. Wind Pool, kind of weak. Water Spout's okay, but it has a range problem. Bolt Smite is okay. Why would I ever want to discard my hand most of the time in a pure Raider deck? <laughs> right, chat? Like, uh... They already have no card draw. Like, I'm going to be doing, like, what, five damage to get two sparks and lose all my mobility options? Like, are you crazy? Why would I take this in most decks? Yeah, like, here's another one. It does it does burn five, which is delayed damage. So congratulations. If you're playing Grit, you just die because they, they hit you first. Our reaction was not great. Lamberge was not impressive. Flexible Jolt was good early. I'll give him that. That That's a pretty good early one because it lets you do the 3-1 specials. And Sanguinate, we didn't really find useful because, again, if you're spending 2 AP, 1 to move into position, 1 to Ensanguinate, congratulations, you do 4 damage for 3 AP. Like, that's not... It's not great. There are only really strong ones that I would even consider. Like, Quake was pretty good. It's like the inverse of all the things they have. I think Tornado was pretty solid. Rocket Jump was good. Rocket Jump's like one of their few mobility skills that's good. Um, Saw Cleave is very situational. Giant Slayer is a lot of fun. It's like mobility and damage. But it's like none of these things are like ones I really want in other decks. And even then it's like if all I want to do is damage, Traveler's just better. Like, Fireball is probably their most solid one, I guess. But I have, like, Poly Hit and Recasts. So, like, I could do four damage to, like, one target, or I could do, like, four total damage by, like, stacking it. And this is pretty common to be able to do that. Or imagine just getting one point further and getting Boomerang, aka the God card. Four damage, potentially six, kills everything outside of, like, the, the late game areas. And then it also draws you cards. Like, what a ridiculous thing. Then they buffed Cardinal Shot. We haven't been able to poly hit with it since they changed it, but now that it's closer together, it is really easy to use to kill all the mid-tiers. So Cardinal Shot is just, like, a perfect mid-tier killer. Because most, most of them have, like, four or less. Like, now that we're at the end of the game, like, yeah, there's a lot of six and seven hit point enemies. Don't get me wrong. But, like, at the time that we got this, this would have been really huge. And then obviously Aerial Ace stacking with the infinite mobility is insane. And Bomb Jump. Bomb Jump is also a great example. So instead of spending like 4 AP or, or 3 AP to do 4 damage, I could just Bomb Jump the target right in front of me and do 4 damage with 2 AP. Do you know what I mean, chat? Like, Bling was an early contender. Oh, yeah. <laughs> when the raider is like, get off me, I'm gonna die. Yeah, I, I could see that a little more. You're like, no, go away from me. I can't beat you. Yeah, I feel like they needed more cards like Pummel. Do you know what I mean? Like, we they have, like, really interesting grit cards. It's just that they're ultra rare. And you just get them so late in the game that it doesn't matter. Like, Pummel we got from, like... I think a quest or something like that. And Limit Breaker we didn't receive until pretty far in the game as like a rare drop. And we can't easily duplicate it like we can some of the other five stars. Some things are just not on the same tiers, sadly. But anyway, I think that's the last we'll ever use Raider, unless I'm forced to do so in the future.
I guess I can leave and come back and see if he's got anything new. Oh, doesn't look like it. Oh, he does actually. I lied. Oh, hey friend. Do you want one last challenge? There are many tales left for me to tell, but I still want to see you struggle. Yeah, but that's the thing. Like we got also the text flew. Fix the text. Chat point, point at the screen, fix the text. Um, might be one of the few times Moon might actually be useful. Exactly, but there's not like a, like, if you think about it, all of their multi-hit cards are like tier one, tier five. There is nothing in between. There is nothing in between that multi-hits and they really need it, it for sure. I know. But, and again, Pummel was a special card. We didn't get Limit Breaker until like two bosses in. So it's like, we just had like nothing for it. Yeah, Justice for Raider. And the ones where it's like, if you kill it, you could recast it. It's like, but I can't hit them in the first place to do this. So it's like, it's like only maybe if I'm in the starting dungeon, is it useful? Otherwise, it's like, I really just got to be able to do three damage to more than one target at once. I'm not asking for like five or six. Just being able to three and then situationally hit again is really strong because it gets through a lot of the two health things that are there. Like, I'm surprised with how much grit they have. They don't have more initiative cards. They got that initiative taunt, I guess. Yeah, I definitely think they're... I, I definitely feel like what would have helped for them is if their mobility cards, if they were in grit, should have maybe made their mobility cards not cost anything. Like, if, if in grit, gain one AP for using kind of things. I think that would have fixed them without being super crazy. Like, you have to still be low on health. It's still conditional. So you still have to play somewhat risky. But, like, there's more of a payoff for doing it. As a lot of their mobility just doesn't have anything for it. Like, no initiative, no re... There's, like, a couple recast. I'll give them that. They got a couple recasts. But they don't have anything, like, if they hit a wounded foe. They don't have anything if they hit a burn foe. There's just kind of that lack of support for the things they have in there where, like... I think the ideas are interesting, but they just don't synergize with each other. Like, all the wound cards work on, like, what, five cards total in their entire deck? Am I really going to build, like, four or five wound cards times five and five multi-hit cards when I'm playing the game that only those cards work? Like, no thank you. And again, it's like one of those things where it's like, okay, if I wound a target and then melee it twice, I do four damage. But that was three AP to do four damage. The math doesn't justify it. I'm sorry. It's just like I'd rather play Warden with Tesla or like Oracle where I have like five million attacks if I spend three AP. Yeah, it's kind of unfortunate. Like, could you imagine if they had stuff where it's like if, you, if a target is on fire at the start of your turn, gain something? Like, yeah, they needed something where, like, it, it did something. Where, like, if you kill a target with wound, then something else happens. They needed it to be more layered if they wanted it to synergize a bit better. And it's just sad that they don't. Like, there's nothing inherently wrong with the wound mechanic. It just doesn't work with, like, literally all their cards. So it's like, why bother? And again, things were like if they had more AP fixing, like it should it should be very conditional. It shouldn't be free like Traveler. It should be very restricted. Like if you get a kill, that actually that would help them too. If they got a kill, getting an AP back would have been huge. That would have been a really great restriction for them. And I feel like would have been on, on par with like they could have called it like Berserker Rage or something. Like if you kill with this thing, you get an AP back. So that way you can actually start cleaving through them, for example. Show them all the ra yeah, Raider, Raider has everything they need to kill, like a boss, but they have like no mobility, no defense, very little utility, uh, really awful draw ability without splashing. Like their curio is like 1000% mandatory for them to do anything or they just, they go into full struggle city. And you saw their one curio required recasts. I'm like, do you know how many times I recast with Raider? Like, never. <laughs> like, like all their best cards don't have recast. And that's what I'm talking about. There's, like, no synergy with itself. Like, recast recast on, like, uh, Traveler would... Traveler should have gotten the one that had recast, to be honest with you. I mean, it makes sense that movement does it. Yeah, hashtag Ra Raider struggles, exactly. Anyway, let, let's let's continue the dialogue, then we'll, we'll finish out with some ranting, I guess. 
Let's get down to business then. I want you to finish the dungeon floor while exhuming more cards from the graveyard than drawing cards from library. Easy for the stranger. Also, kill the ancient effigy casting cards of all five archetypes. But only with the stranger or clear runes equipped. Oh, do I love a good puzzle? Kill the ancient effigy? I don't know what that is. Is that the tower boss? Do both. It is an easy task for you, I'm sure. And I'll give you something really good. I'm assuming Ancient Effigy is the tower boss. I don't remember what its name was. We haven't seen it in such a long time. Let's double check. Nope. Oh, we can't select it. Uh, There is a monster thing here. So we've seen all the enemies here. We haven't seen all of the allies, it looks like. Which is fair, I don't feel like using most of them. Okay, so... Okay, so now if we do the tower, I should try to win... with... this? It is nice that I could see, like, what they're immune to. I do like that this is here. This is a good touch, I could see all their immunities, it mostly makes sense to me. So I could kind of prepare for it. So, like, they're immune to sleep, uh, bait, being frog, stun, charm. I don't know what the top other top two are, but like I generally understand what most of those will do at least. So I guess I could build the deck for next time then. So I gotta win with all random cards, that was the challenge. Finish the dungeon floor examining more cards from the gear rather than drawing from the library. Um, Yeah, so I think I could do both at once. Yeah, I could probably do both at once pretty easily. The only question is, do I do the stranger first or do the traveler first? I guess I should do the traveler first, but we could still set up a deck for the other thing. So we have to do purely random cards. I think I could do that. Let's set this up for this. Though I don't want to draw a lot of cards, but I do want to make sure we have as many max as we can. So I could get more HP ups if I want. Another one of these. I could get more HP ups if I want, just so I have more health. I don't know if it's worth getting immunity to these yet. I guess I can also check to see if there's any other runes. I guess I haven't looked in a while. Oops, my bad. I misunderstood where I was. Yeah, so that helps with it just like kind of preparing for a dungeon, especially if you haven't played in a while, because we, we don't play back to back. We play with like many weeks in between. So I could duplicate these if I want to. I don't think there's anything I want to duplicate yet. Let's go to here. Double check to see if there's anything new now that we killed the other person. Huh? The maiden is gone? I wonder what that was about. Hmm. I'm sorry. Maybe you said something I shouldn't have. I told her I made a bunch of stranger runes. Chats if I was the one who gave you the stranger runes. Oh, it wasn't me, right? Who gave them to you? What? They just appeared in your backpack when you got to the island? That is crazy. Wait. That's not what I was talking about. Anyhow, she was like, mad at me, right? And I was like, I didn't do anything. I mean, I might have made some stranger runes, but it was a crafter's curiosity, I swear. Uh, anyhow, a uh, friendo, don't tell anyone about that, okay? I don't want trouble. Well, not tell anyone about your stranger runes either, okay? Ah, uh, uh, when I left the shop, before she left, I mean, she asked me about a rune. It's about the rune of Harai. She said it was the forbidden rune. I don't know anything about a forbidden rune, but my master definitely knows. I told her that and she- I just want to use the runes. She left- oh, wait, did she go back to the mainland to check on my master? I wonder if she even knows my master. Anyway, want to buy some runes? I don't know if these matter. Um... I could get another just another one of these just to have more. I could get petrified specifically on the boss. 
increases AP gain but makes your body frail? Ooh. What does that mean? What does that do to my health? Wait a minute, that's actually interesting. Wait a minute, can Raider finally be playable? It only took until the end of the game to finally fix their AP problems? Is that what they were balanced around, this new rune? Also increases the impact of injuries. So I'm assuming I just have Wound forever. Hmm. I mean, that's... that does help a lot of the other builds. Yeah, we're fragile. Here's the damage by 100%. Yeah, that's fine. We shouldn't be getting hit anyway. Alright, do you have anything else for us? I get Petrify if I want to. I'll get another one of those. Doesn't really hurt. So I guess the question is... Okay, I don't have any boosters. Is it telling me boosters again? It is... See, that confuses me. I hope they fix this. It definitely says exclamation mark. There's nothing here. I keep seeing it, thinking I forgot to do something. Because I do do that sometimes, but it's like, nope. Yeah, let's get some heal cards. Early Arrival's nice. I did like Bad Breath. So we get 4 AP a turn. I don't know how many stealth units there are in the tower. Because this is not worth taking if they don't have stealth. So what do, what do I have to win with specifically on the challenge? Passing cards of the five, five archetypes will equip an only stranger in clear room. Uh, okay. I mean... Oh, it's not gonna let me check that way. Why? <laughs> Why can I never inspect the runes? I'm assuming these are fine. So I could... I basically spend three slots again in extra AP. I could play it riskier. I'm just seeing what kind of things we have here. So I need the five archetypes. Let's do random. Oops. Do we need at least five prayers? Um, Bless stones just feel like they're targets maybe for the AOE damage spell. There's less things that hit me. Although that makes uh, the 21 damage one very scary. Hmm. I definitely want to make sure we have more seeks. So Grave Summons will help me exhume. Morning is fine. Shield might be okay. Just thinking, like, what would work well. I don't want to dig deep, per se, if I'm going to be playing with this curio. Oops, not this one. <laughs> oh, that would be that would be horrendous. Um, I think that's fine. So I could get the seek chain going. I don't see anything wrong with that. Petrify might be useful. I'll get a couple of those. I definitely want Max Queen's arrival, for sure. Um, I could try a couple of these, just to see how they are. I'm just trying to location to flick damage to target enemy. Oh, that's fun. They have a lot of chest-based moves. Get some bull dashes in there. Um, I'm sure I'll find a use for that. I'll try that for now. Stunning a whole room is useful, potentially. 
I don't think I want a lot in the deck, though. Pritchett Spear's a little risky. Get some more teleports. <laughs> pay, pay to win is always funny. Do I really want a Spiderling at all? I don't think I do. Mm. Yeah, let's get a few of these. I like that they just kind of copy each other infinitely. So they don't have a lot of AP gain by themselves, but they're a pretty good split deck. Next one damage in area, gaining max HP. Then explodes inflicting damage based on its max HP. I mean, I might as well just play that just to see what it's like. So we have a decent amount of mobility. A couple cautious dashes should be fine. I need to make sure I basically have the ability to deal with bosses. Maelstrom is very risky with this. Because even if I just do like 5 to myself, I basically die on the spot. I, I still don't understand the purpose of this card. Because there's, there's not really a concept of overkill, so I'm not sure I fully get this. There's not, like, temporary health either. I mean... I think there was, like, a boss that had armor. Apocalypse? I don't... You keep saying apocalypse. I don't have whatever that is. I don't think I do. Yeah, I'm aware it's probably a stranger guard. I just don't know what you're talking about. Let's talk about to another room. The same. Uh, that's not worth it. Like one wound or one damage, three wound. Play size tiles. Patience plus two damage for each. Um, I think with extra AP, this might be worth it. I would say without the extra AP, probably not, but like being able to 6 damage something is kind of big. Doing 4 damage, not as impressive. I'll put one Blast Stone in there for the sake of putting them in there. Yeah, I, I agree too, Kirk. I wish they had cards that would overkill. Where it's like if you if you manage to kill a health bar, it automatically does one extra health bar of damage. Or something like that. Hmm. Yes, yeah, so I think most of these are fine. <laughs> Rearrange does not work when I'm low on health as a self-heal. I guess this might be fine. Copy a mimicry. Discard target phantom card. I don't think I have anything that makes phantom cards. That's usually something from like premonition. I don't think I have any dupes. Unless I missed something earlier. I mean that that sounds like a fun oracle card. Get rid of like their so-so abilities and just use it to damage people. Yeah, you can see that you can see that definitely uh cell fight DVZ reference for sure. Uh... I mean I could put one spiderling in just to see how they're like. So we'll we'll try something like this next time. I don't want like a ton of ton of cards. I'm willing to try this in the future.
Yeah, let's get rid of this other one. Is there anything else I want to touch before we leave? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't really care about web jump. I think we have enough mobility skills. I just need to make sure that we draw decently well. And then once we start doing it, then we just start drawing our cards over and over again. Which... I guess can be a problem, potentially, depending on what cards we keep exhuming. Four AP should help a little bit. At least with four AP, we should be able to burn more than we can retrieve on a turn. I guess that's fine. Yeah, I guess that's fine then. So we'll, we'll try this next time. But I think I'm done for now. Let's see. Okay, so let's talk about where we are with the game. So, unfortunately, we have to do Magma City again, even though I think that run went, like, 95% pretty well. I mean, the fact that I cleared an entire floor without ever resetting our cards as Traveler in a deck that was only drawing cards is really dumb. But, you know, just hashtag Traveler things, right, chat? Just, okay. <laughs> I only used, like, what, 70 cards to kill every single room? But, like, what was that, like, 18 rooms? And I took almost no damage that entire run. So sadly, even though we absolutely dunked on that boss, uh, we have to do it again because the game apparently wasn't convinced. So I think next time we'll go ahead and replay the Traveler deck again. I don't even think I'm really going to change anything in it. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't even think I want to get additional AP. I just don't even think it's needed. I'm just like, why? <laughs> right, chat? Like, I thought it was fine as is. Maybe I'll just get safety health so I could purposely face tank on a couple options. Specifically, retaliate. If retaliate monsters didn't exist, I would be more willing to try the other things. But at least, like, with the stranger card, me getting extra AP, I have some healing options in there. Whereas, like, Traveler, if I do that and I do, like, a boomerang, I could just take, like, six damage and die without health boosts. Which doesn't really seem worth it to me. But hey, that means that uh, potentially next time we go to play... Actually, why don't we do that right now? Let's go back. Let's just fully prep for next time. I just thought... We have the ability to put more copies of cards on our deck, right? Why don't we do that then? Why is that happening? What is this? Ch chat, please explain what is happening here. Hello? What? Can you not do that? Okay, let's try that again. Okay, okay, it's behaving itself. I'm just like, I'm just trying to see what to do next. So I think this is what we were using. That looks about right. So we can go ahead and put another rune in don't think I really need draw cards with this. So we're going to do this one first. We might as well set up for it. So we're going to do... Where's the BS one? There's the BS one. We're going to swap into that, and then we're going to... I guess allow more duplicates, because it's funny. I don't really want AP up. Honestly, maybe we just double down on nonsense. Oh, it glitched out. Rip. Gotta close the menu. What is going on with the UI? Do you see this chat? It had like the cursor all over this. Let me just undo that real quick. So we have 10 more cards, which is good. I think what we could do is add a replenish, get rid of Reef for Spite, Get another, get more adrenalines, because it's funny. Um, More quiet flutters, for sure. Because we have basically near infinite card draw, so I might as well just play really aggressively with it. I could technically add five more health to the deck. That's fine. In fact, what is this? Is this extra card draw? Yeah, this doesn't matter. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and just give ourselves five extra health. <laughs> right, chat? Might as, might as well just make it completely unfair and un uh, impossible to die. 
Then we'll just get a couple more shock jumps, because those were good. I don't think I really want to jettison with this build. Oh, more boomerang. Lord and Savior Boomerang, get in this deck, please. Um, Maybe go down a hookshot. Is there anything I want to replace it with, though, is the question. I actually don't have multiple to what I'm looking for. Hmm. I mean, I could just put Energy Needle in there, just to say that we used it. I, I do think it's decent, so I might as well get it. We have one to the vault if we really need it. Put another Shuriken Storm if I need to. Beta Star was okay. So I guess I could do... Another Energy Needle, needle for card draw and just free damage. Because sometimes we only need to do one damage, honestly. Then uh, maybe another Pounce? Pounce is pretty good. Do I want to get rid of anything? Um, is there anything I was just putting in there for pity? Honestly, we didn't really get that much use out of Headhunt in the other dungeon. I'm going to get rid of that for another double shot. I just feel like that was more useful. So we have five bullseyes, which I think is okay. Which again, it acts as minor card draw. We have five bomb jumps, seven shock jumps, because those were amazing. Spins are there. We got two cardinals. Just making sure we have at least a bazillion movement options. Shine Sparks 4 is probably fine. Um, Beta Star was okay. Pounce was a really great movement option. I really like that in the deck. I like that we have more flights than I need. So Aerial Ace is good, but I don't need like a million of them. Um, It's probably fine. Try this deck out, see how we feel about it. So this should get around Retaliate, and this should just let me do other things without really changing the core of the build that much. So yeah, next time we'll have like near infinite card draw, so we just need mostly damaging cards, which we did add a lot of, and we got rid of more of the fluff. The, the closest thing to fluff is Energy Needle. So honestly, I might just get rid of one, because we do have Replenish, which is also card draw. We have another damage option, maybe another Pounce? I could get Ninja Backpack, but I'm like, uh eh. I mostly just need to make sure they die, to be honest with you. <laughs> make it count is pretty much never going to do anything in this deck ever, so there's no point to it. I don't really need to jettison that much. I think just having more Adrenalines is fine. Because we're going to draw them. So we have like seven Quiet Flutters, which allows Aerial Ace to be used. And seven Adrenalines. So I should have enough AP. So if I really want to stack my hand, I can have, like, 20-something AP in a turn. And again, we have some things that go card neutral, and we have Replenish, a safety. I think that's fun. So now we're done. So next time, I think what we'll do, we're going to try to beat the Magma City. We're not going to do every location. Then we're going to beat Tower with the random deck. So that'll be, like, the third time ever we've used Stranger. And even then, we I don't think we've completed a run with Stranger still. Like, we've mostly just done basic floors and stuff. So, yeah. Yeah, I don't think we've ever taken it to a boss before. I think this will be Stranger's first boss. Most of the time, we go down, like, one or two floors max. So we'll be pushing our boundaries a little bit there. And, uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. It, it does look like Stranger is a very strong splash. So I like that it inherently doesn't have a lot of great stuff. Like, in terms of, like, it doesn't infinite by itself. At least I didn't see any infinites based off of what was there. But with just, like, a little bit of Traveler, mm -mm -mm, those infinites are going to be... Those infinites are going to be coming full-time, chat. It's like, oh, let me just exhume, uh, like, three Adrenalines, and oops, I seek them back in my hand. Guess I get 10 energy. Oops, I'm just going to exhume some uh, draw five cards from Traveler. Oops. <laughs> Right, chat? Oops. 
So I might as well just go like five traveler for stranger or something. I don't think I need stranger five for anything unless I just want to focus more on, uh, I don't know, like grave summons versus like the draw fives. I guess it's I guess it's up to personal preference because th th nothing else really matters. <laughs> it's pretty silly. So yeah, there's a couple different builds we could probably experiment with, but just looking at it, it looks like if we're allowed to have six seeks and even just like a touch of Traveler, which does not look very hard to do, we will end up in an infinite situation. There's a couple of relics we could potentially do to draw into Traveler to make sure that we do this in infinite, where we could try to go for Exhum as our means of drawing back and not rely on Seek as much. And it's still like 80% Traveler, 20% Stranger, with the intent being that you just repeatedly play the Seek cards to exhume all of your combo pieces. So it'll be more Traveler focused with energy gain with a hint of Stranger. So if we had like 90 cards, probably like 25 would be Stranger to make sure we could reset that relic a few times. Those kinds of things. But anyway, uh, that's it for now. So hopefully you had fun. But uh, we'll be continuing this next week. So let's go ahead and say goodbye to YouTube. So if you did watch to this point, the video or the VOD, I'd just like to say thank you for watching. Hope to see you again next time.